and he needed one of these for week 18. Welcome into Bears Now by Chicago, or Bears Now by Chat Sports. I think I'm already drunk for this watch party. Uh, that's the goal uh, with the Bears facing the Vikings in a somewhat meaningless, meaningless game. Let's uh, let's go ahead and take a sip of this. Ah, yes, Mountain Still Blue, baby. That's good stuff. All right, Bears, Vikings, appreciate you guys joining us. We'll have a live watch party. We'll let the audience build up for 15 minutes, and then once kickoff gets going, we'll get our scoreboard on screen, and uh, we'll have live play-by-play. -play. It'll be fun. Uh, appreciate you for uh, being in the live chat. And let's get that live chat popping. Who you got in Week 18? Type M-I-N for the Minnesota Vikings. Type C-H-I for the Chicago Bears. Let's get it. This should be a pretty stress-free game because uh, – who cares, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, it just doesn't really uh, doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Relic says Chicago. Scott says Minnesota. Someone says Vic Fangio just got fired by Denver. Bring him back. Yeah, listen, we're going to talk. Uh, our post-game show won't really be a post-game show. We'll talk briefly about the game, but then uh, we'll get into the major rumors that are out there around the Chicago Bears. Bringing back Vic Fangio could definitely happen. L2 Cloud says, Harrison in all caps. What's up, L2? Graham says, Chicago. J JF says, Chicago. Jamie says, Minnesota. Uh, Gerilyn says, Chicago. We've got uh, Henry saying, Chicago. Louie, uh, L2, Luis, Toxic, all saying, Chicago. Bear down from Ben. Uh, Harbaugh is head coach and Fangio is defensive coordinator. Let's go. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, you know, that uh, that speculation that I, I'm in. I'm definitely in on that one. Get your score predictions in as well uh, for Bears and Vikings. Um, I don't know. Give me the Bears 24-21. They could win. They could win this game. I wish Justin Fields was playing, but, you know, he got, he got the Coco, so he's on the COVID list. It'll be Andy Dalton. But, uh... Predict the score. Bears, Vikings, who's going to win? 27-13 Vikings from depressed Chicago sports fan. Parentheses, Bulls, good though. I was going to say, you got the Bulls who are red hot right now. Uh, Bears 21-14 from uh, Genosian. We got uh, Bears 27-24 from Darren. Uh, Tyler going with Chicago as well. Uh, we got 28-24 Bears from the Prodigy. Henry says, last dance, Andy Dalton. Could be last dance for a lot of folks. I'm sad Akeem Hicks, not healthy enough to play in uh, his final game, potentially as a Bear. But uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. 30-14 to 14 Bears from Sean. Bears 27-14 from Danger. Quinn for Defensive Player of the Year. 17-7 Bears with an Aiden saying 21-17. Dutch saying 21-10. Shout out your city. We'll continue to ask different questions leading up to kickoff as uh, we're about 12-13 uh, minutes away from kickoff at uh, U.S. Bank Stadium up in Minnesota. So shout out your city. Let us know where you're watching from. Relics in Chicago. Daniels in Honolulu. Uh, we're in Dallas, Texas, by the way. Uh, Reynoso in Indiana. Moore, Oklahoma from Jared. Uh, Carson's in San Diego. Corey sells cars in Jersey. Uh, Mister is in uh, Myrtle Beach. We got JF in Chicago. Uh, Jenshin Unleashed, Knoxville, Tennessee. We got Jamie in Chicago, Dutch in Colorado Springs, Scott in Minnesota, Roger in Holiday, Florida, Kenosha, Wisconsin from Luis, uh, Bloody Mary Commentary from Arlington, Texas, TJ Kelly from Bloomington. Uh, we got uh, Aiden in London. What's going on, Aiden? Nate Banks, I love the Bears. Joshua says Phoenix. Uh, Harrison should ride a train to Union Station. Uh, hey, I'm in. I'm in. Wayne says Somerville, South Carolina. Uh, Daniel's in Washington, Bloomfield, New Jersey is where uh, Joseph is. Continue to shout out your city. Let us know where you're watching from. Hey, let's have fun. Let's drink some beers. If you guys want a super chat, hey, I'll get a little toasty for this final game. All super chats get a shout out. Five bucks. Beers, cheers. Ten bucks. Uh, I'll take a shot of Fireball. Ready to rock and roll here. Uh, Coop will take, producer Coop, by the way, uh, producing today's show, doing a great job. He'll take two shots for 20 bucks, and then for $50, I'll do a beer bong. So, hey, we want to have fun. We want to keep it loose. There's our Super Chat menu to do so. Okay, when will Matt Nagy be fired? Today or Monday, which is tomorrow. Type T for today. Type M for Monday. He will be fired. It's just a matter of when. Uh, so is it going to be today or tomorrow? Type T for today. Type M for Monday. Relic says Monday. Scott says today. Graham says Monday. Henry says Monday. Shigo says Monday. Henry says Monday. Joshua says Monday. 
Matt and Aiden say Monday as well. L2 Cloud. Uh, James says today. Uh, L2 says Monday. James says today. J Ray today. L2 Cloud. Uh, Monday. Tomorrow morning from JF. Monday from Luis. Edward says Monday. Sticky Monday. L2 Cloud. Michael says Monday. What's up, Harrison from Caleb? What's good, Caleb? Uh, Darren says Monday. Liquid says Monday. Roger. Uh, Siamic uh, say Monday as well. I think we'll hear officially tomorrow, but we're already hearing reports that he will not return. It's just not officially, officially, official because, you know, the Bears haven't released a statement. But uh, he will not be back. I can assure you that. Uh, he will be fired. Uh, whether it's today or tomorrow, he will be fired. So who should be the next Bears head coach? Because with Nagy out, you got to replace him. So who should it be? A lot of Jim Harbaugh buzz. If the Saints miss the playoffs, could Sean Payton become a target for Chicago? He's under contract, so you'd possibly have to trade for him. What do you think? Ryan Day from TJ. Not Leslie Frazier, Frazier from Henry. I'm with you. Please note Leslie Frazier. Harbaugh from Roger. Kellen Moore from Sticky. Corey says Doug Peterson. Uh, Ken and uh, Core say Harbaugh. Redderfire says Harbaugh. Oh, baby, we got a 20-piece. Uh... Uh, producer Coop's going to get that on screen shortly, then he'll come double down on some shots. Uh, Kellen Moore from Quinn. Uh, let's see. I like Jim Harbaugh from Sean. Todd Bowles from J-Dog. L2 Cloud says uh, me, so he's applying for the job. Jim Harbaugh with Vic Fangio from Graham Rogers. Hey, I've, you know, that's uh, that, that's, uh, that rumor has uh, uh, certainly been out there, so... Uh, very much a possibility. All right, here's the super chat from the Prodigy. Get Coop loose early, LOL. Matt Quinn, uh, Ogletree, and Peters, which of these aging players should stay and uh, get cut, traded before the draft? All right. Um, I could see one of Mac or Quinn getting moved. I doubt both will. Akeem Hicks, free agent, I don't expect him to be back. I don't think Ogletree or Peters is back either. So I think a lot of those players will be gone. Uh, Coop's going to come up here and uh, – Take a couple of shots, and since it's the first Super Chat, I'll take one with them because that's how we roll here at Chicago Bears now. So I'm pouring mine out. And then Coop. I'll play bartender here. Yes, sir. The Bears, baby. Let's go, baby. Bear down. Sure. All right. Cheers. Cheers. One for me, two for Coop. All right. Let's go. Bear down, baby. One more game here. One more game here. Prodigy, you're the man. Type Coop in the chat. Coop, C-O-O-P, in the chat. Someone says Dallas sucks. Well, he was born and raised in Dallas, so, you know, he's loyal at least, right? <laughs> Got to be loyal, so... All right, appreciate that. Uh, we'll keep it moving here with some more questions. We've got about six, seven minutes until kickoff here. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for all of that. Uh, let's see. A couple more shout-outs. Ryan Day or Sean Payton uh, plus Fangio. Yeah, a lot of people want Fangio as the DC, which is certainly understandable. All right, uh, goal of the day is to pass 39,000 subscribers easily. We're at 38,916, or that's where we started at least. Let's see if this number is updated. 38,919. We'll update that number throughout uh, this watch party. So we're 81 subscribers away from 39,000. Help us get there. Uh, help us reach that threshold. So subscribe and do not miss any of it uh, because uh, – the next couple days are going to be busy. You got the game today. Rumors already surfacing that we're going to talk about after the game as well. Uh, once Nagy's fired, we're going live. Could Pace get fired? We'll see. Could he get promoted? We'll cover that as well. Coaching candidates, huge offseason upon us. Subscribe. Let's get to 39,000 uh, subscribers on today's watch party. All right. Uh, week 18, final game. Do I have to talk about the game a little bit? Bears, Vikings. Bears, 6-10. and 10, Vikings, 7-9. and nine. Uh, Bears 26th in scoring, 20th in scoring defense. Vikings 14th in scoring, 25th in scoring defense. A lot of chatter that Mike Zimmer could be on the way out in Chicago as well. Uh, some of the notes from this uh, matchup also, uh, the inactives uh, for Chicago. Ryan Nall, Elijah Wilkinson, Lachavius Simmons. Uh, Duke Shelley, and then the sad one is uh, Akeem Hicks will not play 
for Chicago. For Minnesota, Kellen Mond, Wayne Gallman, Zach Davidson, Wyatt Davis, Mackenzie Alexander, Chris Boyd, and Michael Pierce. Those are your inactives. Uh, Minnesota, last time I checked, was like a two-and-a-half point favorite. So there you go on that front. All right, are you ready for kickoff? We're about four minutes away. Like this video if you're ready for this game to get started. Get those thumbs-ups in, and uh, I'm ready, man. I am ready for uh, – the uh, season uh, finale for the Chicago Bears uh, because it'll be fun. We'll have fun today. Keep it loose. Uh, you know, maybe the Bears will win, and then, uh, you know, win, lose, or draw. Uh, the Nagy era ends uh, as soon as uh, tonight, but probably tomorrow. So like this video. Let's uh, let's get to 100 likes. Come on. We're at 235 likes. We can, or at 235 people watching, 54 likes. Come on. Like the video. Let's get there. Get your likes in. Hit that thumbs up icon. Uh, someone says, wait, Mac is playing. No, he's on IR, so he's not playing. <laughs> I can assure you that. He, he doesn't count on the inactives list because uh, he's already on injured reserve. So like this video, and let's keep it moving, keep getting us closer to 100. All right, final opportunity. Who you got? M-I-N for the Minnesota Vikings. C-H-I for the Chicago Bears. As I try to get the channel changed here. Here we go. Got a couple minutes until kickoff. Type M-I-N for the Vikings. Type C-H-I uh, for the Chicago Bears. Get your votes in. Let's also ask that pace question too, Coop, before kickoff. Uh, we have a couple minutes here. We can get to that. I'll get some shout outs here. Then I want to talk a little Ryan Pace. Relic says Chicago. Danger says Chicago. Scott says Minnesota. Uh, Fire Nagy from William. Uh, Fields isn't playing. Yeah, it sucks. Ken and Core say uh, Chicago. We got Liquid saying Chicago. Redman saying Chicago. Uh, keep those votes humming here. By Pace from Dennis. Uh, Chi Town from Cubs. Chicago from John. Uh, let's see. Minnesota from AKA Chicago. Uh, William says Chicago. Da Bears from Ken and Core. All right, I want to ask this question Are the Bears going to fire Ryan Pace? Because we all, Nagy's gone. That's going to happen. We all know that. Um,. One for yes, two for no. Are the Bears going to fire Ryan Pace? Um, I have no idea, man. If I had to guess, I'm going to say yes. But there's been reports from he's staying as GM to he's getting promoted to president of football operations to he's getting fired. All three have been reported slash rumored. So I don't know. I think it's uh. I think it's pretty interesting. I'm actually going to make this the live poll because I'm curious what you guys think. Will the Bears fire Ryan Pace? Yes or no? I have no idea. I think it's – I say I think it's yes. I think it's like 51-49 yes for me. I think it could go either way. Uh, someone says, no, make Pace the scouting of something. Uh, let's see. Josh says no. Wilson says no. Dennis, no. Hope so, fire pace from Luis. Chris says promotion. Bruce Chanton Coop in the chat. Uh, we got a uh, no from Cubs saying he'd be a good president of operations. Maybe one and two from John. So basically you're saying he gets fired as GM, but he changes roles. Okay. Uh, fire Nagy and pace both. That's kind of what I think, but uh, you could talk me into moving pace into a different department. I don't think he can remain as GM. I think you have to at least change that aspect of it, but we will see. Okay, got about a minute till kickoff. We'll ask you this question. Who should be the Bears head coach? Uh, get your votes in, and then uh, we'll get going with the game here shortly. Make Nick Foles the GM from Andrew. Okay. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Ryan Day, Jim Harbaugh. Fangio for DC. Get rid of Nagy. Nagy's gone, guys. Byron Leftwood from Busy. So we'll see. We will see what happens on that front. Uh, Brett Bielema. No. Jeez. Ryan Day and Big I hear Fangio. Lovey Smith's available. Lovey Smith, you know, he's uh, he's hanging out in Houston as the DC there. But there's a report that uh, David Culley might get fired after one year down there. So, uh, what a time to be alive! 
Uh, let's see. Trace Armstrong for GM. Jim Harbaugh as head coach from Russell. Byron Leftwich as a candidate. Uh, it's all going to be very fascinating. That I can promise you. All right. Game's about to get underway here. Uh, oh, what's going on on that Vikings thing there? That's weird. That second note, Coop, or third note. There you go. Yeah, I'll just do that one. Uh, okay. So Fox is delaying us here. Let's ask you guys to predict the score again. Why not? Predict the score. Bears, Vikings. Fox is behind here, so no kickoff yet. Get your score predictions in. Bears, Vikings. Who you got? What's going to be the final score? Chris says Harrison Graham is head coach. Not going to happen. Oh, there we go. We can get to another uh, super chat here. Joe sent one in. So uh, producer Coop will get on that. We'll get that on screen. Get those score predictions in. JF says Bears 24-23. Dwayne says uh, Bears set 9-7. to seven. Uh, Mason says 38-13 Vikings. That would be a bloodbath. 27-24 Bears from Nick. Harrison Graham is GM. It's not going to happen, folks. It's not going to happen. All right, quick super chat, and then we're about to kick things off here. Joe says, thank you for the season, Harrison, making these awesome videos, and the Bears are going to win the Super Bowl next year. Bear down. Attitude you got to have. Get the bear down chant going in the comment section as we are about to get underway at U.S. Bank Stadium. All time, head-to-head, -head, Vikings lead the series 62-58 to with two ties. Vikings, of course, won in Week 15, uh, but the Bears have won three straight in Minnesota, which is, of course, where we are today. All right, Bears will receive. Vikings set to kick off here, and we are underway in Minnesota. This kick will be returned from the two-yard line. Here comes Khalil Herbert, past the 25, the 30, up to the 37-yard line. Nice return for the rookie running back out of Virginia Tech, and that is where Andy Dalton and the Bears offense will take over for drive number one. The Bears get the ball first, looking for win number seven in their third straight win of the season, rocking the whites, the Navy helmets, of course, but the uh, white uh, jerseys. Navy pants, going navy white navy today. Minnesota rocking purple hats, pant, or purple uh, helmets, uh, purple tops, and then white pants. Little uh, jet sweep push pass for Darnell Mooney goes for a first down, gain of 12. Type your ones in the comments. We'll get the live scoreboard up as soon as it's ready, and then uh, let's get it going here. So first and 10, up near midfield, past midfield at the Vikings 49. Dalton under center, Mooney in motion again. Montgomery will get a carry, left side. Breaks one tackle, gets about four, maybe five. There's a nice little ad. Just put a who you got up there or something. Until tr right, there you go. Second and six here, second and five. For Chicago. Empty set for Dalton. Cole Komet in at tight end. Jesse James in as well, two tight end set. Dalton. Those underneath, Mooney caught, first down and more, inside the 30 up to the 28-yard line. Type your ones, first down Chicago. Get those ones in. Patrick says one, Amos says one. Amos says happy week 18, appreciate that. What's up Harrison from TJ, appreciate you guys tuning in in a game that doesn't really matter, but it's still fun because hey, it's the last game until August when the preseason rolls around. Bears break the huddle quickly. Dalton under center. Montgomery the tailback. First and 10 at the 28. Demir Bird goes in motion. Monty gets another handoff. Bounces off one tackler. He'll pick up about three yards up to the 25-yard line. Good balance on this first drive. Two completions for 30 yards. A couple of strong runs as well.
Second and seven at the 25. The expected final game for Matt Nagy in Chicago. Dalton under center. He'll play action. Boot to the right. Slipped for a sec. Throws on the run. Incomplete. Looking for Allen Robinson. Not much of a window there. That'll bring up third and seven. Third and seven here. Bears in comfortable field goal range, but you'd like to get a touchdown if you can. Dalton in the gun on third down. Vikings defensive lineman looks to be in the neutral zone. We'll see if they throw the flag. They will not. Dalton throws underneath and complete. Drive stalls. Cairo Santos and the field goal team will come on for a 42-43 yard attempt. Good coverage by the Vikings there. Santos will... Attempt one from about 43. Santos from the right hash. 43-yard attempt. He's ready to go. Snap down, hold down, kick is good. Bears take a 3-0 lead. Get your threes up. Type three in the chat. Let's ride. Get those threes in. M Michael says three. Gabriel says three. Andy says three. Albert three. Danger three. Ken and Core three. Philip three. Keep those threes coming as uh, the Bears take a three a nothing lead. BetUS is our sportsbook partner here at Chicago Bears now. And if you want to make money betting on the NFL all season long, go to chatsports.com slash bears. You can use our promo code bear down. It's all one word, bear down, when you go to chatsports.com slash bears. My picks of the week, I actually took Chicago plus four and a half. So I'm already up seven and a half points there. So uh, feeling good about that one. Bucks minus nine and a half against Carolina. I got the 49ers plus four later today. Cardinals minus six. And then Sunday night football, I went ahead and took the Chargers minus three at Las Vegas. Winner of that game secures a playoff spot. Loser of that game is likely out. Um, so those are my picks. If you want to go bet on NFL games all day long and all throughout the playoffs, head over to the chatsports.com slash bears and use that promo code bear down. So the field goal is good. Bears take a three nothing lead. The Lego brother says three Bryson says three Heidi three Ivan three Chad three. Uh, let's see. Mike says three Donnie says three William says three as well. Uh, someone says, tired of the Bears going for it on fourth down. Santos is a terrific kicker. Use it. Well, that's what they did. They kicked the field goal. So there you go. All right. Game day. Always good to get some uh, quality food, you know, whether you're cooking at home or ordering some pizza, some wings, whatever it is. What are you guys eating today? Come on. What are you guys eating today? What is the game day food of choice here on Sunday? Check something real quick and then uh, get some shout outs here. Let's see. Someone says kisses, like Hershey kisses. Alexander says bagels. <laughs> Lowell's weed lols. <laughs> okay. Avocado toast from Bryson. Uh, trying to make food right now from Danny. What are you making? Uh, someone says I'm eating Matt Nagy's job. <laughs> okay. Cincinnati chili uh, from Bruce. Homemade chicken noodle soup from uh, Chad. Smoked ribs on the Traeger. That's, yeah, it's solid. Very solid. Leftover Papa Murphy's. I like Papa Murphy's. Philly cheesesteaks from Dutch. Uh, M&M's from Ken and Core. Nothing from La Cura. Me neither. Hopefully I'm getting some food at halftime, but who really knows at this point? All right. Uh, oh, Bears are doing something funky on the kickoff. They're just switching their sides, I think. Like the guys lined up on the left switch to the guys on the right. I don't know what that means. Santos going to boot it deep. No trickeration there. It is a touchback. All right. Here comes Kirk Cousins. Noon kickoff Kirk. Ready to rock and roll. 
Not prime time, so you know he'll probably play well. 220 touchdowns in his career, 91 interceptions. About a two and a half to one ratio there. Cousins lines up under center. Dalvin Cook is the running back. As Kirk is ready to go to work. That was unintentional rhyming. He'll dump it down to Cook for a gain of three. Second and seven here. Vikings break the huddle for second and seven. Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson named to the Pro Bowl for Minnesota. Offset eye formation, Cousins under center. Fullback goes in motion to the left. Toss play that way for Dalvin Cook. Drags a defender, picks up about five and a half. So it'll be third and short, third and about a yard and a half here as Cook picks up about five. Type stop in the chat. If you've never joined our watch parties when the Bears are on defense and it's third down, we're typing stop. If it's fourth down and they're going for it, we're typing stop as well. When the Bears are on offense and they pick up a first down, we're typing one for first down. That's just how we do things. So keep that chat rocking here. Type stop. Here we go. Gabriel says stop. Third and a long one. Cousins in the gun. Cook to his left. Cousins going to throw it here. Looking, looking. Boom, down he goes, sack. Angelo Blackson gets home. And the Bears get a three and out. Not sure why the Vikings didn't even play action on third and a yard, but Blackson gets home. He's had a sack in two straight weeks now. Type LFG in the chat. Let's go. So fourth down, Minnesota going to punt this one away. High snap, but it is caught. Here comes Daz Newsom, the rookie. Pretty good return of about 20 yards. Newsom activated to the active roster on Saturday. Gets a nice little return right there. Good to see him get involved. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash bears now. We're trying to hit 39,000 subscribers. Producer Coop is going to keep updating the number. We're at 38,929, so we are 71 subs away. I want to get there in the first half. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with what the Bears are about to do, this is the time to subscribe. They're going to fire their coach. They're going to hire a new coach. They might fire the GM. The major news is about to begin as the offseason is upon us. So subscribe to this channel. You don't want to miss any of it because it's going to be a hectic week ahead here at Bears Now. Potential for multiple live shows as well. So stay tuned for all of that. YouTube.com slash Bears Now. The tentative plan right now is once the Nagy firing is official tomorrow, tomorrow being Monday, we will go live and break that down. So go ahead, subscribe, turn on the notifications, get locked in, tap into us here at Chicago Bears Now because this is going to be your one-stop shop for Chicago Bears news and rumors all off-season long. Go ahead and subscribe. Don't miss any of it. All right, shout out your area code, uh, TV timeout before the Bears uh, get the ball back. By the way, it was a 17-yard return on a 42-yard punt, Daz Newsom. Uh, bringing it back 17 yards, so a uh, good return by him. Shout out your area code. Let us know where you're representing from. Uh, someone says D's nuts. Don't see any numbers in that area code. That's a zip code, Angel, uh, but I'll read it. 60482. TJ Kelly says 309. Zip code is five digits. Area code is three. Reynoso says 574. Devin says 918. Uh, you got the 757 from Dwayne Rouse. 323 from Liquid. Uh, JDJJ says uh, the 858574 from Reynoso. We got the 309 from Jacoby. Mr. Inglewood saying 312. Angel says 331. Jeremiah says 309. Santino says 817. And Achigo says 309 as well. Angel, you're good, man. I'm just uh, clarifying uh, what the right, uh, uh, what's what. Uh, you can certainly shout out your zip code too. Uh, 262 from Tiffany. Uh, we got a uh, 501 from Jarrett. The 404 from Mo Green and Frederick is in the 909 uh, Church to God uh, in the 916. Okay. So drive number two for the Bears coming up. 
as the first drive resulted in a field goal. Bears uh, get a three and out on the Vikings' first possession. So Andy Dalton and the offense back out there with 10-10 remaining here in quarter number one. Dalton two for four for 30 yards on that opening drive. David Montgomery lines up behind him. Darnell Mooney in motion here. He'll now line up, uh, split out, but now he'll come back in motion. Play action, Dalton. He'll throw underneath Montgomery, gets hit right as he catches it. It'll be a short gain, two, maybe three yards. A second and seven coming up here. Who's the starting receivers? It's Darnell Mooney, uh, Allen Robinson, and then uh, it's been a mixture outside of that rotating in and out. I'll see who's in there on this play. It looks like Daz Newsom has checked in on this, uh, this play potentially. I think I saw him in the huddle. Let's see. Yeah, Newsom's in the game. So is Demir Bird on this one. Jimmy Graham in at tight end. Tight formation. Bird out in motion. Montgomery will get a carry up the middle near the first down marker. That'll bring up third and one. Third and short here. See, an aggressive-minded team and like just an innovative offense, it's third and one after that game. I'm lining up quick, and I'm just handing it off again. But instead, the Bears are going to go slow, huddle up. Let's talk about it. Third and one. Not only that, they're going to line up in the shotgun on third and one. Don't love that. Dalton in the gun. Monty gets a carry. And he gets stuffed. He got near the first down marker, but he did not get it. I don't get the shotgun there. That's stupid. Type F for Fire Nagy. I fully expect the Bears to go for this in Minnesota territory, but that's just stupid. Get under center and give the ball to your 225-pound running back. Shotgun again on third and a foot. Not joking. Fourth and a foot, sorry. Monty again up the middle. He'll get it this time, just runs over a defender, but still just doesn't really make much sense. All right, first down, type your ones. We'll take it. We will take it. But, yes, very dumb, like Dwayne says. Nagy's 100% gone. Yeah, he's, he's, he's toast. This game doesn't matter in his evaluation. Montgomery will check out. Dalton under center. Jimmy Graham in the game. Play action, Dalton looking, looking, couple pump fakes, rolling to his left now. He's probably going to have to throw this one away, and he will. Second and ten now. Andy keeps saying pace is going nowhere. We'll see. We'll see. Second and 10 at the Minnesota 40. Dalton in the gun, Khalil Herbert to his left. Herbert's going to get a carry now. Stretch play to the right, tries to cut it inside, and he has nowhere to go. He'll lose a yard. Third and 11 upcoming. From here, you're talking about a 58-yard field goal, so you're not really in Cairo Santos's range. So third and long, I'm treating this as Two down territory if I'm Chicago, unless you get sacked or something like that. Third and a long 10, just outside the 40. Bears 30th in third down offense. There's only 32 teams. Dalton trips to his left. Vikings showing pressure. We'll see if they bring it. Four-man rush. Dalton get it out quickly. Darnell Mooney makes a couple guys miss. Gets up to the 35. It was a short pass. To me, that was a call to go for it on fourth down up near the 45. What do you guys think? Fourth down, what should the Bears do? Type G for go. Type FG for field goal. Be a 54-yarder from here, 53. We know Santos doesn't have the best leg. I think this is a go for it on fourth down situation just outside the 35, and that's exactly what they'll do. The ball – Lined right at the 35. Dalton in the empty set. Fourth and a long five. David Montgomery will now come back into the backfield. We'll get to that super chat. 
uh, after this play. Fourth and five. Dalton takes the snap. Loses 20 yards. That was blown up from the beginning. Just confusion at the line of scrimmage. What the hell was that? They didn't look prepared to snap the ball. Then when they did, no one blocked. That is just, gee, this, this team stinks. Type F. My God. Alexander says F. Oscar F. Paul F. They literally just weren't ready. Like, James Daniels turned back to Dalton. was like, what are we doing? Then he bent over and they snapped it. And it was no one blocked. It was just, just a disaster. Someone says should have kicked. Sure. Like, in hindsight, if you think a 54-yarder is a better option, then sure, you, you could do that. All right, super chat from uh, Joe. Appreciate it. We must bring Vic back. I love Fangio back as defensive coordinator. Not as head coach. You don't want that, trust me. But uh, as defensive coordinator, uh, absolutely. I am absolutely down to bring back Vic Fangio. Uh, that will obviously depend on who the head coach is. We know he and Jim Harbaugh have a relationship uh, going back to the 49ers. So uh, I think if uh, – if Harbaugh becomes a head coach here, look for Fangio to be his top guy to be defensive coordinator. All right. We asked what you're eating. What are you guys drinking? Mountains are still blue. $5 super chat. I get to drink more. I cheat sometimes. I drink even without super chats from time to time. But I want to know. What are you guys drinking today? Let's hear it. Come on. You guys sipping on? Doesn't have to be alcohol. It can be anything. What are you guys sipping on? Uh, water from Joe. Coffee from Alex. Scott says Heineken. Dr. Pepper from Bridger. We got William saying water. Cherry Coke from TJ. Crystal says juice. Matt St. John says water. Dwayne says dew. We got liquor and water as well. Iced tea from James. Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens. Hey, Bears fans, follow me on Instagram. It's going to be a busy uh, off season and uh, I'll have you guys updated on the channel but also on my IG give me a follow at HGram NFL I'm going to get the IG link in the live chat for you guys at HGram NFL Coop will get it in there as well give me a follow on Instagram link is in the chat or you can just search me in the app at HGram NFL it's at HGram NFL and uh, we can chop up more uh, uh, Bears news, rumors, conversation, uh, slide in the DMs. Uh, there's a few I got to catch up on. I will do that uh, when I can. It's just been a busy few days leading up to NFL Black Monday. So give me a follow. I'll give you guys shout outs as follows come in as well. And uh, we will uh, we will have a grand old time. So appreciate you guys. It's at HGram NFL. All right. Vikings take over at midfield after the long sack. Empty set for Kirk Cousins. He'll take the snap, get hit as he throws, incomplete. Robert Quinn and others were in the backfield. Quinn almost got sack number 19 there. Jordan followed me, RT followed me. Appreciate you guys. Don Dada followed me as well. The Vikings have lost eight games by eight points or less this year. Jeez. That ain't it. Cousins under center, eye formation. He'll hand it off. Dalvin Cook, left side, tries to cut it in. Runs over one defender. He'll get about three yards and bring up third down. Type stop. Let's get a quick three and out here for the second straight time. It'll be third and seven here at the Bears 47. Get those stops in. Come on. Never forget when the Vikings lost to Cowboys backup quarterback Cooper Rush. Shout out Kirk Cousins. Type stop in the chat. Get those stops in. Empty set for Kirk. Vikings 28th on third down conversion rate this year. Cousins throws underneath, caught. Justin Jefferson just gets the first down. So first down Minnesota. He gets about seven and a half on third and seven. Well, type F, first down Minnesota. Good thing Artie Burns is playing instead of uh, Thomas Graham. Got to get those vets in there over the rookies. It all makes no sense, yet perfect sense. We'll get to that super chat shortly, Funkbringer. 
First and 10 at the 40. Cousins hands it off. Alexander Madison. Strong run there. Gain of nine. Bring up second and short. Funkbringer with the super chat. We greatly appreciate all super chats. Uh, he says, uh, hashtag bears, I predict this will be the greatest halftime show of all time. Your feelings, HG. Also, you should do a short for every Bears TD this week. I might be out of the loop. I don't know what's coming up at halftime. But uh, uh, so uh, if you're talking about me, we take a break at halftime. So I'm not so sure. Uh, oh, he says you should take a shot for every Bears TD this week. I might do that. Shots for TDs? I might be down. There may not be many, so uh, might as well. Madison again up the middle. He's stuffed this time. He will not get to the first down marker. It's going to be third down. Third and one. Type stop. Kyrus Tonga, the rookie. Nice to see him out there at least. Gets that stop there. Type stop in the chat for third and short. Probably four down territory for Minnesota, I would think. Cousins under center. Dalvin Cook will check back in. I fully expect him to get the ball here. Cook will get it, and he gets a first down. Gets two. Bears got good push, but Cook found... A slight opening for the first down. Bilal Nichols in on the tackle. So first and 10 for Minnesota at the 28, approaching the Bet US red zone. Cook, another 1,000-yard season for him. Justin Jefferson goes in motion. He'll split out to the left as Cousins is under center. Cousins, play action. Pressured right away, throws incomplete. Good pressure there. I think that was Nichols again. Now that was Angelo Blackson. He's having a good game. A sack and a pressure right there. Sack earlier, pressure on that one, I should say. They tried to chip on him, but the guy completely whiffed. Second and ten here. Cousins was looking for K.J. Osborne, but throwing it under pressure, couldn't quite get it to him. Cousins in the shotgun, takes a snap, draw play. Cook, stuffed, loss of two. Who is that? That's uh, Sam Kamara, who has seldom played this year. Good tackle there, loss of two, maybe three. Side stop, third and long, let's get it. Let's force a long field goal attempt here from here. You're looking at about a 48, 49 yarder. Third and 13, so a loss of three, actually. Last week, the Bears defense allowed negative six passing yards against the Giants when you factor in sacks. Shout out Mike Glennon. Shout out Ryan Pace for paying Mike Glennon. Empty set for Cousins on third and long. Takes the snap. Four man rush. Cousins getting pressured. Cousins going to get sacked. Strip sack once again, but Minnesota will fall on it. That might have been Travis Gibson. Let's see. Or Angelo Blackson again. Not sure who got his hand on Cousins. Mario Edwards in there. Three guys were in there. Gibson, I think, officially stripped it. This defensive line continues to play very well. Type LFG, and what that strip sack does is knocks the Vikings out of field goal range. They'll have to punt here on fourth and 23. And only a Matt Nagy coach team would have to take a timeout on 4th and 23. Do we got the thanks Nagy uh, way in in there, Coop? Thanks, Nagy. He's talking to Chris Tabor, so it could have been a Tabor screw-up. But you know what? It's, uh, it's on the head coach at the end of the day. Thanks, Nagy. So it's being ruled as a split sack from Edwards and Blackson. But it looked like uh, Gibson actually swiped the ball out of Cousins' hand. So three guys involved. Thanks, Nagy, for that timeout. All right, so they're going to punt here. Just got another super chat. We'll get to that in just a second. Daz Newsom lets this one go out of bounds. At about the 12-yard line, we'll see where it's marked real quick. 
It's going to be marked at the 11 or 12. All right, Super Chat menu. Uh, we've gotten a few Super Chats. We'll get to that one that just came in in just a moment. All Super Chats get a shout-out. $5 Super Chat is five, uh, beer shears, which I owe you guys one. 10 bucks. I'm taking a shot of Fireball for 20 bucks. Producer uh, Coop will take two shots, and then for 50 I am going to do a beer bomb. Patrick says, thank you. You left out Nagy, but thank you, Matt Nagy. Uh, for uh, for that timeout right there. So uh, Bears do get another stop at least, uh, but a uh, pointless timeout had to be used. So there we go. All right, uh, let's see. TV timeout. Let me see if I got any more IG followers here to shout, shout out. Got a couple. Tino followed me. The Solar followed me as well. Appreciate you guys on that front. Uh, some... Yeah, we can do that. Quick scores around the uh, league, uh, and then I'll tell you guys about BetUS. Uh, uh, we got uh, Browns, Bengals, scoreless. Packers, seven. Lions, nothing. Obviously, three, nothing here. Bears on top. Uh, Washington, three. Giants, nothing. Jags leading the Colts, seven, nothing. That's pretty significant in the AFC playoff picture. We'll keep tabs on that one. Steelers, three. Ravens, nothing. And then the Titans and Texans score us. That one also significant. If the Titans lose, the Chiefs would get the number one seed in the AFC. All right, BetUS is today's uh, sportsbook partner, uh, as it has been all year. We thank them for sponsoring Chicago Bears now all season long. If you guys want to go bet on uh, NFL games, go bet on the Bulls. You can bet on the NBA, uh, the College Football National Championship game on Monday. You can bet as well. Got to go to our link below, chatsports.com slash bears. That's promo code bear down, chatsports.com slash bears. Use the promo code to get that 125% deposit bonus. My picks of the week, uh, Bears plus four and a half, looking good so far with a three nothing lead. Uh, Bucks minus nine and a half, they play later today. So do the 49ers, who I got at plus four. Cardinals minus six, and Chargers minus three. All my other picks are in the afternoon slate. And then, of course, Chargers Raiders is tonight. Uh, but uh, the only game I'm tracking right now for my bets is this Bears game. So, chatsports.com slash Bears, promo code Bear Down. We got a $10 super chat, which means it's time to take a shot. And then we just got a $5 as well. We'll go to Michael. Let's have fun on this uh, game today. Cheers to you. And then Thomas with the five. Many Niner fans will root for the Bears if they hire Harbaugh. I could see that. Harbaugh had a good run in San Francisco. Appreciate the super. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a fun coaching uh, carousel in the NFL this year. Okay. Bears take over at their own 12. Dalton in the shotgun. For drive number three, first drive resulted in a field goal. Second drive resulted in a punt or a failed fourth down attempt. Dalton, a delayed toss type of play. Gain of three, David Montgomery gets up to the 15. That was weird. He was in the shotgun. He just stood there, and then he, like, option tossed it to his right. So kind of a strange-looking uh, play. Picked up three yards. Final minute of the opening quarter. Bears go quickly. They're under center here. Allen Robinson in motion. David Montgomery gets a carry. He's got some room. First down and more. Gain of about 12. Type your ones. First down, David Montgomery. Under 40 to go in the first quarter. Bears will have to snap it at least one more time. Good push up front by the offensive line. Uh, Jason Peters is starting at left tackle, by the way. Larry Borm starting at right tackle. Type one. Andy says one. Nameless says one. Kevin says one. Uh, Dalton's last game, I think so. I think he'll sign with another team next year. Gabriel says one. Jaden says one. First down, Chicago. So first and 10 at the 26. David Montgomery goes in motion. Uh, slant, Marquise Goodwin, gain of five, up to the 31, and that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. Bears lead 3 nothing at the end of one. But really the topic right now, the question surrounding the Chicago Bears is when will Matt Nagy be fired? Type T for today or type M for Monday? I'm going to make this the live poll question here in the chat as well. Type T for today, type M for Monday. When will Matt Nagy be fired by the Bears? Uh, and look, if you if your answer wants to be, he's not getting fired, uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's like I think it actually is 100% at this point. I've said it's 99% for a couple weeks, 
Uh, I think it's 100 now. I think it is 100%. Uh, let's see. Joe says Monday. Uh, Andy says today. Old Gringo says uh, Monday. We've got Steve saying Monday. James saying Monday. ZXYA saying today. Allie saying today. Live poll reflects 77% saying Monday. Keep voting there. Domber says Detroit. Woo! Domber, you are you are a real one. I will say that. Uh, you uh, you can handle the heat. I haven't seen Sang Ray Kim today, unfortunately. Monday from Dennis. We got Monday from JF1. Uh, Lukers Icy uh, says K for keep, I guess. Van uh, Van Hell says M for Monday. After the postgame presser, if we're lucky, LOL. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I think it's actually better for me if it's tomorrow and not a random time tonight. Like I could so see myself getting home, getting cozy, having a nice dinner with the wife, and then – Boom, the Schefter notification at 9 o'clock tonight. The Bears have parted ways with Matt Nagy. Uh, but if that happens, I will rush to the studio, and uh, uh, I'll get live for you guys because that is uh, what we have promised. Uh, Rebecca says Monday. Uh, Dutch says Monday. JF1 says Monday. Bear down from uh, ZXYE. Uh, let's see. At halftime from two. They're not going to fire him at halftime. It's not going to happen. Uh, the Bears – if nothing else, are a classy organization. They're not going to leave Nagy on the tarmac, Lane Kiffin style, at USC. So, you know, there you go. All right, quarter number two, about to get going. Bears in that first quarter outgained Minnesota 62-12. to Time of possession, 8-13 to 6-47. Uh, Three-nothing is the final score. Or the oh, final score. Could you imagine? Three-nothing. Uh, score at the end of the first quarter is what the uh, the score is. So there we go. All right, quarter number two about to get started here. Bears uh, have a uh, second and medium after a five-yard catch by Marquise Goodwin to end the first quarter. Second and five here. Dalton takes the snap. Those underneath, drag route. A lot of room here. Darnell Mooney up to midfield, 50-yard line. Type your ones. First down, Chicago, as we get another super chat as well. Get those ones in, and let's get to Damon real quick here. Uh, doesn't seem like this – doesn't it seem like this game is going fast? A little bit. 35-minute first quarter. That's kind of par for the course. Maybe it's a little faster than normal. Um, but, yeah, I mean uh, – you know, I think it always feels fast, especially final game of the season. Playoffs aren't on the line. Uh, so, yeah, I think uh, I think there is some truth to that. First and ten at midfield. Dalton under center. He'll hand it off. David Montgomery looking for room. Doesn't find much. He'll get a yard. We push the scoreboard back across for you guys. Second and nine. Dennis saying one. Nino saying one. Jared saying one. Uh, Dwayne, Amos, Joshua saying two. Second and nine here. Andy Dalton, six of nine, 62 yards. We just got another $10 super chat. You guys keeping it fun, keeping it real. I'll rip some shots with the, for the boys and the gals in the chat. Second and nine, Dalton in the shotgun. Monty to his right. Darnell Mooney will line up in the slot. Dalton throws. Caught. First down. Demir Bird at the 39-yard line. Type your ones. Keep those coming in. And then we got another super chat to get to from Chris Ayers. We'll get to that just as soon as we can. A little tempo here for the Bears. No huddle. I got everybody lined up. Dalton in the shotgun. Montgomery to his right. We'll get to that super after this play. Play action. Dalton. Looking to take a shot. Deep crosser left side. Caught Allen Robinson. Scoops it. First down, Chicago. Chris Ayers, the Green Bay Packers have offered a 2022 second-round pick if the Bears will keep Matt Nagy. Not enough. Not enough. Chris, appreciate it. I appreciate the humor. humor. By the way, every $100 we get in Super Chats is a bonus shot. We're only $34 away. Bears go quickly. David Montgomery pushing the pile. He'll get about three yards. Oh, we got a sex bot in the chat. Got to hide that person. Love face XYZ. Can't read the rest of it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Reported. We'll see ya. Second and seven here for Chicago. Dalton rolling to his left on second and seven. He'll just slide down for about a no gain, maybe about a foot, but not much. The third and seven. Third and seven upcoming here. The Bears have entered the BetUS red zone up to the 19-yard line. BetUS, the best place to bet on NFL games and other sports. Chatsports.com slash Bears, the place to get going. Dalton on third down, swings it out. Demir Bird trying to make something happen. Gets near the sticks. I think he's going to be about a yard short. It's going to be fourth and one, so decision time for Matt Nagy. Shouldn't be a decision at all. You should absolutely go for this on fourth and one when it's your final game as head coach. They will go for it. Often stays on the field. So here we go. Fourth and one. Damian Williams in the game at running back. I definitely don't love that. It should be Montgomery on a fourth and short situation. Thirteen on the play clock. Bears may have to use a timeout. They will take a timeout. I don't mind that timeout. The fourth and 23-1, can't have it. Fourth and one, though, key decision like this, that is uh, that is uh, a different situation. Type G if they should go for it. Type FG if they should kick a field goal. Let me know in the comments. The uh, G for go, F. G for field goal. I'm getting mostly goes. Uh, burn fluid says uh, FG. FG from Eddie. Go from Joe. Ken says go. David says go. 10.38 to go. It's 3 nothing. You need a touchdown here. Make it, make it a two-score game. Fourth and one. For Chicago. At the 13-yard line. Damian Williams in the game even after the timeout. I don't really get that, but that tells me they're probably going to go for it. Shot – or throw it. Shotgun for uh, Andy Dalton. They will throw it. Dalton looking, looking. Sacked again on fourth down. I just don't get it. Get the thanks, Nagy, up, Coop. You know what to do. Fourth and one, you have a 225-pound running back. You go shotgun, you throw the ball without play action, and you get sacked. Uh, thanks, Nagy. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. It's all just... Uh, let's get the number one up. Uh, get it. I'll, I'll read the number to you. Type thanks, Nagy. I'll get some shout outs here. It's 38939. Uh, 38939. All right. Thanks, Nagy from John. Nagy, Nagy genius on display from old gringo. Joe Hunt says thanks, Nagy. Jay says thanks, Nagy. WTF from Kelly. Thank you, Nagy from Dwayne. Thanks, Nagy from Ron. Thanks, Nagy from Fender Jim. It's uh, it's all very sad, isn't it? Woohoo for Nagy. Uh, someone says, "F Nagy." <laughs> that YouTube's not gonna clear that one, but uh, I, I, I understand the sentiment here. Nagy blowing the game on purpose. Well, it's probably better if they lose. Better draft pick in the second round. Uh, smooth move, uh, X Lax. We can push it if it's being slow. All right, so thanks, Nagy. Um, 
for giving me the content I'm about to have because he's going to get fired, and uh, we're going to break that down probably tomorrow unless it happens tonight. Uh, but I want to be at 39,000 subscribers before we do that. Uh, it just updated our number. 38,939 subscribers is where we sit. We're 61 subs away. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to sub-only chat, subscriber-only chat here. I'm going to activate it here, Coop. And then if you guys want to be a part of the live chat, if you want to be a part of the videos we're about to do over the next few days, uh, Nagy getting fired, that'll probably be Monday. Nagy replacements will probably be Tuesday. Uh, a whole lot more as well. This is the time to subscribe. YouTube.com slash Bears now. Don't miss any of our coverage because we will have you covered throughout the offseason. Uh, our coverage is just beginning here at Bears now because uh, uh, with the coaching search uh, expected to happen soon, with Ryan Pace's status being very much in the air, uh, hit that sub button, join the movement. And if you want to, type me for a shout-out because we are on sub-only chat. We are 53 subs away now, 38,947. We will continue to update that number as we get closer. We can, we, we can do it in a bit. We're good. First and 10 for the Vikings. Kirk Cousins hands it off. Dalvin Cook up to the 20-yard line. Do we have the uh, type me if you want a shout-out for uh, the sub only? I think we do. Type me if you want a shout-out. Everyday says me. Urban says me. Rebecca says me. Darnell me. Connor me. Joe me. Get those me's in and subscribe if you haven't. If you're trying to comment it's not going through, it's because you're not a subscriber. And we have the best Chicago Bears news and rumors on YouTube, so go ahead and hit that sub button. All right, second and seven here for Minnesota. Darnell, the Bears, Andy Albert, all typing me here. We'll get some more shout-outs going uh, in a moment. Second and eight for Cousins, actually. It's a short eight. He'll hand it off to Cook again, who has nowhere to go. He'll lose a yard. Uh, no gain, actually. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, Luther says me. Dead says me. Now you guys can type your stops because it's third down. Type stop in the chat. Bears defense come, has come to play once again. You got to give Sean Desai credit. He's kept this defense playing hard throughout the entire season. Hadn't always led to great results, but um, they are fifth in total defense now, which is yards per game. Cousins in the gun on third and seven. Justin Jefferson will come in motion. Now he'll settle at the snap. Cousins takes a snap. Hit as he throws. Pick it off. Oh, it hits the turf. The Bears pick it up just in case it was a fumble because it kind of fluttered as he got hit, but it was a throw. Fourth and seven. Vikings will have to punt again. This Bears defensive line continues to feast down the stretch of the season. Do those steps tell you anything? On Cool. Uh, Vikings going to punt here. After the punt, I'm going to read through some scores around the league. They'll punt from their own 20. Punt is away. Let's see if Daz Newsom gets an opportunity to return one. He catches one at his own 27. Here he goes. Daz Newsom past the 35, up to the 36. Nine-yard return as uh, the rookie out of North Carolina gets a nice little burst right there. All right, grade the Bears' performance so far, A, B, C, D, or F. Get your grades in, and while you're doing that, I'll read some scores around the league. Browns lead the Bengals 7-0. Cincinnati resting their starters uh, in this one. No Baker Mayfield for Cleveland either. He's going to have surgery on that shoulder soon. Case Keenum has a touchdown pass. Uh, elsewhere, Packers and Vikings tied at 7. Aaron Rodgers has a touchdown pass. So does Jared Goff. Uh, we'll see how long Rodgers plays there. Bears 3, Vikings nothing. Uh, Vi uh, Washington 3, Giants nothing. Uh, Joe Judge could get fired, especially if they lose this game. Jags 7, Colts 3. If the Jags win that game, the AFC playoff picture is very interesting. Steelers 3, Ravens nothing. The winner of that game is still alive if the Jags end up beating the Colts. Uh, so that's on the line as well. Titans and Texans scoreless, but the Titans are in the red zone. Tennessee can lock up the number one seed in the AFC with a win. All right, Andy Dalton uh, so far, 9 of 12, 95 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions uh, on the day. Uh, shout out Coop getting those stats uh, going there uh, with our new software. Uh, 95 yards passing. He's been efficient, been smart with the football, outplaying Kirk Cousins, who's 2 for 5 for 10 yards. So uh, uh, you've got that. By the way, Kirk Cousins in almost in five and a half quarters against the Bears this year has 84 passing yards. So 
yeah. That's bad. So you've got that. All right, let me get some shout-outs here on the A, B, C, D, F. Uh, if you guys sent them in, I might have uh, might have glossed over those. Here we go. Uh, B from uh, De Bears, D from Darnell, C from Angel. Defense is an A plus, I'd say. I'd say the offense about a C plus. They've moved the ball, but they've gotten stopped on fourth down twice. De Bears says C, Troy says C, Nagy F minus, Willie says F. Can't be an F if you're winning, right? Nagy's last game feels so good from Tom. Final score, Bears three, Vikings nothing. That would be something, wouldn't it? D-plus for Dalton. Uh, B from my wife, Hannah, who's watching. Pre appreciate you tuning in. Shout out to my lovely wife, who's making a bomb-ass dinner tonight. I can't wait for that. Ah, oh, gosh. Uh, if you want to type it in the chat, uh, Hannah, I can't it, It's like a – she's uh, she marinated it last night. It's like, it's like a Greek – Whole chicken, basically, with like different like herbs that it's soaking in. So I'm uh I'm pretty psyched. Uh, feel free to drop it in there in the chat, uh, Hannah, if you want to. But I I can't remember exactly. But uh, it's uh she's roasting a chicken. I just can't remember all the ingredients involved. All right, first and ten for the Bears at the 36. Dalton nine for 12, like we mentioned. He's under center. David Montgomery back in. It's almost like he should have been in on that fourth and one. Thanks, Nagy. All right, five on the play clock. They got to snap it here. They will with four. Montgomery gets a handoff, hey, and he gets a yard. That would have worked on the last drive. Second and nine here. Thanks, Nags. Someone says, mmm, dinner at your house. Yeah, we do it right. Roast chicken is what uh, Hannah says. Yeah, I just can't remember. It's like a specific Greek recipe. We're also having some roasted potatoes, some, some veggies as well. It's going to be good. Kesey says, do I get a plate? You'll have to ask uh, the wifey there. She, I'll she's be over, in charge. Yeah, Coop says he'll be over, so uh, there you go. Hopefully Nagy doesn't get fired mid-dinner. Mid That's all I got to say. Second and nine. Dalton in the shotgun. That would be the ultimate thanks, Na Nagy. All right, Dalton throws left side, caught. Darnell Mooney. I think he was touched down. He was. First down, type your ones. Yogurt marinated, yeah, with some Greek stuff, right? It sounds really good. It smelled really good in the fridge when I filled up my water this morning. I was like, oh, I can't wait for that. I was just a little deep uh, out route from Mooney, about 16 yards, 18 yards, as uh, Mooney's having a good game as well. Five catches, 72 yards already. Let's ride. First and 10 for the Bears at the uh, Vikings 45. The Bears have been moving the ball. They've just stalled out twice now on fourth down. Under center is Dalton. He says, kill, kill, kill at the line, so he's changing the play. He'll now hand it off. Montgomery finds a crease. Picks up eight. Good run for Monty. Halftime is just around the corner. Three nothing. Bears looking to add to that. They've played more inspired than Minnesota. I will say that. Both these coaches on the hot seat, Mike Zimmer, Matt Nagy, I don't think it's really a hot seat for Nagy. I think he's sitting in lava at this point. By the way, 43 subs away from 39,000. Can we get there before halftime? Come on. 38,957 is where we sit. Montgomery gets a first down again, so type your ones. But I want to hit 39K in the first half. Let's go. And then 40,000 is right around the corner, so let's get it. Oh, Jags driving again. If the Jags beat the Colts, that'll be lit. By the way, for you conspiracy theorists out there, if the Jags beat the Colts, the Chargers and Raiders both make the playoffs if they simply tie tonight. Why would you not agree to that if you're those coaching staffs? Darnell Mooney on a little tunnel screen. Boom, he'll lose a yard. Harrison Smith and others in there. His well, is that catch. something you'd get in trouble for with the league? Probably, but like... I'd sack. I'd, I'd pay a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar fine if that locked me a playoff spot. Come on. All right, second and eleven, loss of one for Darnell Mooney. Six catches, seventy-one yards on the afternoon. Dalton in the gun. Allen Robinson's in the slot to his left. Khalil Herbert the tailback to his right. Dalton. Draw play. Herbert has some room. He's going to bounce it. Ooh, almost got loose. Got about four. We'll bring up third and seven, third and eight. Third 
So here we go. This is kind of what the Bears have done on their drives. They get down inside the 30 or so, and then they kind of stall. So let's see what they do on this third and seven. Third and seven at the 27. When it's third and seven or longer this year, the Bears only convert 23% of the time. Dalton takes the snap. Vikings bring five. He's throwing for the end zone. Incomplete. Well overthrew. Darnell Mooney, and there won't be a decision here. They will bring on the field goal unit to try and make it a 6 nothing lead. I don't like that decision by Dalton to throw that in the end zone. There was a safety hovering anyway. Phone says put in foals. Dalton's been solid, but that, that was not a great decision. Cairo Santos will come on. This one will be from about 45, 46 officially. Santos from the left hash. He's ready to go. Snap down, hold down, kick is good. Thought it was starting to hook, but it leveled out. Knocks it through. 6 nothing Chicago. Get your threes up. You guys should like my wife even more. She just said Packer sucks in the chat or Packer suck in the chat. She's a woman of the people here at Bears now. Type three in the chat. Field goal is good. Ken and Core, we got Daniel saying three. The Bear saying three. Bobby, three. Maurice, three. Hannah saying three. Crystal says no. I don't know what you're saying no to. Maybe you're saying no to type three. I hate to break it to you. Any message is basically the same for us. So uh, it's uh, it's all good. We'll get that score score updated. Six nothing Bears. You want to go bet on the uh, – you can live bet this game if you want. Bears plus four and a half. I loved it because the Vikings have kind of checked out in my opinion. Uh, so I'm feeling good about that. Chatsports.com slash Bears, promo code Bear Down. That's the place to get going with BetUS. Uh, they've got you guys covered. Uh, the best betting odds uh, for uh, users uh, also – you can bet on the NBA as well. Uh, bet on the Bulls, man. Holy smokes. They are red hot. Chatsports.com slash Bears. Not uh, pro, just, uh, just not tonight, Coop says. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, you can figure out why that is. But uh, chatsports.com slash Bears, promo code Bear Down. We'll get that in the live chat for you guys. Here are my picks uh, on the day. Uh, Bears plus four and a half. Hey, they're up six nothing. So uh, I I got a ten and a half point cushion right now. Uh, Bucks minus nine and a half. That game is later. So is the 49ers plus four against the Rams. Cardinals minus six against Seattle. That's also later. Then I got the Chargers minus three tonight. But I'm serious. If the Jags beat the Colts, the Chargers and Raiders should agree to tie. I'm not joking. They, they, they should agree to tie that game. It's possible the the league has sent them notice like, hey, if you do that, you're banned from the playoffs, but, I mean, I'd put that to the test. Just saying. Just throwing it out there. All right, so call the play calling so far. In between the 20s, it's been pretty good, but you get down there and it's like, uh, the fourth down decision on fourth and one, it's just stupid. I, you know, it's not uh, not great. So, A, B, C, D, or F, I'll go like D+. Plus. Not the worst, but uh, Lions are beating the Packers 14-7. Not sure if Aaron Rodgers is still in the game. Uh, Jags, fourth and two at the Colts, four. What do you do? I could kick it. Go up seven. Go for it. Full send. Go Jags from Albert. I'm on Jags watch. Why not? Carson Wentz choking in January. They did kick it, 10-3. Bears set to kick off here. 4.55 remaining. In the first half, Santos blasts it to about the goal line. That's where the Vikings will bring it out. Past the 10. Oh, tackle at the 14. Guess who? Daz Newsome. I think it's a joke he was not on this active roster this year. That was a hell of a play from the Rook out of North Carolina, making that tackle in space. They'll take over at the 14-yard line. That's where Kirk Cousins and the Vikings offense will come out for their, what, fourth drive now, something like that? Real quick, we'll, let's show the Super Chat menu. Uh, if you guys want a Super Chat, we're uh, $34 away from 100 Every 100 bucks is a bonus shot from yours truly. But uh, all Super Chats uh, get a shout-out. Uh, $5 Super Chat is a beer's cheers. Uh, the mountains are fading here, so uh, there you go. $10 Super Chat, I have to take a shot of Fireball. And then $20 Super Chat, Coop will take uh, two shots. Then for 50 I will do a beer bong. On first and 10, 
Cousins forces one into double coverage, and it's incomplete. Cousins two for six for 10 yards. Very nice. You, you look at Mike Zimmer, one of the better defensive coaches in the league, but the last two years they've been near the bottom in total and scoring defense, which has uh, been a big reason why he's probably uh, going to be looking for new employment after this game. Matt Nagy for the opposite reasons, near the bottom in offense. Cousins under center here, Justin Jefferson in motion. Cousins will snap. He'll throw it out to Jefferson in the flat. Good uh, good tackle in space by Artie Burns. Gain of about three. That'll bring up third and seven. Get those stops in. Third down. Type your stops. Willie says stop. Third and seven, five on the play clock. We'll see if they, they're going to have to take a tam timeout. Yep. Perfect time to tell you guys, remind you guys to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 39,000 before the first half is up. We're 36 away, 38,964 subs. Hit that sub button. Let's get to 39K by halftime. We're 36 away. Bears channel, we're about to heat up here, baby, because Nagy's going to be gone. Coaching search will begin. We'll cover whatever happens to Ryan Pace as well. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button and uh, join the movement uh, for free daily videos. Plan is to go live tomorrow once the Nagy firing is official. And uh, we'll still do our Tuesday live show as well. YouTube.com slash Bears now. Don't miss any of it here on the channel. We're closing in on 39,000. Let's get there by halftime. Got 402 remaining here in the first half. All right, quick timeout, third and six. Kirk Cousins back in the shotgun. He'll take the snap. Bears bringing six. Almost get home. Cousins throws. Caught, but short of the marker. Alexander Madison. Good job by Deion Bush to make that tackle. Fourth and three, Vikings will have to punt deep in their own territory, and the Bears are going to get another drive here in the first half with three minutes and some change, 340 and counting before this punt. Good pressure once again. We just got a $20 super chat. Not sure when that came in. It just came in, I think. We'll get to that after this punt. Vikings have negative three pass yards. Could the Bears hold a team to negative pass yards for two straight weeks? That would have to be... A record. Daz Newsom catches it at his own 32. Here comes Daz trying to get the edge, his own 22, I should say. Reverses field the other way, gets up to the 34, so about a 12-yard return. He's looked good out there, returning punts. 3-10 remaining in the first half. Bears lead at 6-0. It'll be a TV timeout before Andy Dalton and the offense comes back out onto the field. Uh, Will, we'll get to that super chat in a moment. Our software is loading, and then we will get that on screen. Uh, in the meantime, let's see. Let's see where we're at in subs. We're at 38,964 last time I checked. We're now 30 away, 38,970. Hit that sub button. We're still on sub-only chat, so subscribe, be a part of the chat, and be a part of our daily videos. Will Klein says, my fiancé is asking how much it will cost of you to do a shot of Malort. We don't, ha we don't have any, so uh, if we had some, I'd probably do it for like 50, but, uh, you know, that's... Uh, what is Malort? I don't know, but we don't have it. Uh, it, it no, it, I know what it is. It's a, big, uh, it's, a, it's a big Chicago thing. We don't have any here. So if you can uh, Amazon drone some into the office here, I will do some in the second half. It's, uh, it's a Chicago icon. Uh, if someone wants to send me out some and do them uh, next year for uh, the watch parties, uh, I would probably uh, I would probably do that. Uh, but uh, I don't have any, unfortunately, uh, on me. But uh, I do appreciate the super chat. Either way, uh, that's two shots for Coop because it's a $20 uh, super. Uh, so we're going to go full screen, get the scoreboard at the bottom, and uh, Coop's going to take a couple shots here. I'll take one with him because I'm a, I'm a G, and that's how I rock. All right, Coop, hand me that sh shot glass. I'll play bartender Harry, ready to go here. Still a TV timeout. Shout out to you, Will. It's not Malort, but it's Fireball. Yeah, it's, you know, we're, we're making it happen either way. 
Uh, it'll loosen up the it'll loosen up the the muscles, the bones. Bear. bear down, baby. Also, go Mavs tonight, beat the Bulls. <laughs> hey, his dad's the voice of the Mavs. Uh, what are you gonna do? You you can't blame him for going for the Mavs tonight. So there you go. All right, Bears six, Vikings nothing. Three ten remaining here in the first half. At halftime, we will uh, run through some uh, halftime stats and then uh, take a break, get some fuel, eat some food bathroom run and then we'll be back for the second half and uh uh we'll break all that down as well roquan smith a career high 158 tackles by the way so that's dope good thing he was snubbed from the pro bowl again yeah that works all right here we go 310 remaining bears offense back on the field at their own 33 yard line so about an 11 yard return for daz newsome Dalton under center. He's 11 of 15 for 112 yards. Montgomery, the tailback behind him. Darnell Mooney comes in motion. Dalton's going to hand it off. Montgomery breaks a tackle. Here he goes. Gain a nine. Initial contact at the line of scrimmage. He bounced off that and picked up nine. Found a nice little crease. Shoe comes off, so he'll have to check out for a play. Khalil Herbert will check in. David Montgomery, 13 carries, 61 yards here in the first half. So just under five per, about 4.8 on the average. Four point. Shout out to, uh, who was it? Nino Castillo watching for the Philippines. It's 3 a.m. Well, you're going to have to, you know, have some weird sleeping hours to see this Matt Nagy news because it could happen at any time, Nino. So shout out to you. Appreciate all you. I'm seeing Malort is my favorite. Uh, send me some folks, uh, slide in the DMs at HGram NFL, Twitter, Instagram. I'll get you an address, uh, to send us some, uh, some Malort. So there you go. All right. Two ten remaining. The bears don't have to snap it before the two minute warning, but I think they will. Dalton in the gun. About two Oh five remaining. They will snap it. Play action. Dalton throws over the middle. Incomplete. Good deflection by the linebacker. 158 left, so it's a two-minute one. Let's do the weigh-in version one, Coop. Should be in the, like, sub-social section. Uh, two-minute warning, Bears lead 6 nothing with 158 remaining. Uh, second and 10 upcoming after the two-minute warning. The final game for Matt Nagy, barring a last-second change of heart from the Chicago Bears. So uh, that is uh, where we're at. Two-minute warning during this two-minute warning. Uh want to let you guys know uh, that I am on Instagram, and if you want a sh or how about, yeah, we'll do this one. Follow for follow game. First 20 followers, get a follow back. Uh, how about this? First 29 followers, because I'm at 1,321 followers. 1,350, I'll follow everyone back. So, going to get my IG uh, link uh, in the live chat here. It's at HGramNFL if you just want to search it on the app. Uh, I will follow everybody back up to 1350 from here on out. Next 29 followers, get a follow back. So if you want to stay up to date on the Bears, the latest news, rumors, uh, video, I post my uh, videos over there as well, links to them at least, uh, so you guys can come watch them on YouTube. I'm always uh, answering your guys' questions and DMs also. Uh, I do plan on doing some IG Live stuff at some point, uh, so stay tuned for that. Maybe maybe this week, honestly, with uh, all the stuff going on with the coaching uh, you know, situation upcoming here, maybe some Ryan Pace stuff. So give me a follow. I encourage you guys, uh, when we can't get you guys updates on the channel, we can update you guys over here. Mason, Sam, Mark, Luke, Mark, Kimbella, Ryan, and uh, Lucia all getting follows. I uh, got a few more coming in. We're 18 away from 1350. So I'll follow all you guys there as well. I'll put the link back in the live chat as well. Sam, Tyler, get a follow. Uh, Barros gets a follow. Robert, Sammy. Agent DVD gets a follow. Is that Jack's burner account? Uh, Shay gets a follow. Alexa gets a follow. We're 11 away from 1350. Noah gets a follow. Alexander gets a follow. So we still got some room. Stay up to date with the Bears, both here on the channel and, of course, on my Instagram. We'll get to that super chat from Angel uh, here in a second. And... Uh, then we'll get back to the action as the two-minute warning has just come to an end. Uh, any more coming in? Al another Alexander giving me a follow. So uh, there you go. We're 10 away from 1350. I will follow everybody there. 
Uh, by the way, we're going to have to make at least one more sub push. We're 25 away. Let's do that at the next dead ball, Coop. All right, two-minute warning is over. We'll get to the super chat uh, after this upcoming play here. Dalton in the gun here on second and 10. We'll get to that super after this play like I mentioned. Oh, that's either a false start or an offsides. Let's see. Uh, looks like offsides. We'll get to that in a second. Angel says, how about some Bulls videos? So I've asked you guys before, you guys want Bulls videos? It's possible we'll do some. Uh, it's also possible eventually we could launch a Bulls channel here at Chat Sports. I wouldn't rule that out. I think if we launched another NBA channel, it would be the Bulls. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, it's, it's on our radar. It's something we've considered. Busy right now with the NFL, Black Monday tomorrow. But, um, you know, keep asking, keep saying it. And the more guys say, hey, let's cover the Bulls, more likely we, we are to do it. Because if we know you guys will watch it, uh, that's something we would certainly do. Uh, here's uh, all cheers uh, after this play. First down uh, after a catch by Demir Bird. He was wide open, about a gain of 15. Cheers, Angel. Plenty of time here if you're Andy Dalton and the Bears. Minute 40. Don't need to rush here at the Vikings 36. One timeout and about a minute 35 left. Dalton in the gun. He'll take the snap. Throws left side. Good catch again by Demir Bird. Gain of four. Up to the 35, 36-yard line, maybe a pickup of five. Still plenty of time here. Minute 20 left in the first half. It was a five-yard pickup, second and five at the 31. Minute 14 and counting. Khalil Herbert still in the game at running back. Dalton snaps it with a minute 10. Throws right side, caught first down uh, by Marquise Goodwin, who stays in bounds, which is fine. Plenty of time here. Minute left. Uh, up to the Vikings uh, 23. Type your ones. First down, Chicago approaching the Bet US red zone at the 23 yard line. 50 seconds left in the first half. Dalton in the shotgun. Herbert to his right. He'll snap it at 46. Throws over the middle. Caught. Oh, it came out at the last second. Incomplete. Looking for Marquise Goodwin. 39 seconds left. Second and 10. Ball was slightly behind. Got a super chat from Kev. We'll get to that after this second down play. Cameron Dantzler able to knock the ball out from Marquise Goodwin. He's trying to tuck it away, and as he did, it got swiped out. They added a couple seconds left, 42 seconds left here in the first quarter. Andy Dalton, 14 of 20, 139 yards. D Damian Williams will check in at running back. Demir Bird goes in motion. Dalton. Takes the snap, evades pressure. Dalton throws on the run, end zone, incomplete. Looking for Damian Williams, it was low. He tried to scoop it, and then it got knocked out at the last second. That'll bring up third and 10. Hang tight on that super cab, we'll get to it. Just a little low, Dalton didn't get enough juice on it. Third and 10 here. Bears 0 for 5 on third down today. This is kind of the area of the field that they have stalled out. It's been the story for a lot of the years. Or they'll drive the ball, but then they just stall out. Dalton takes the snap. Looking. Wheel route. Damian Williams. Touchdown, Chicago. 12 nothing. It was wide open. Basically the same play. Wheel route. Damian Williams untouched. For a 23-yard touchdown, Bears make it a 12-0 game. We'll see if they go for two. Type TD in the chat. Little pick play from Allen Robinson, and Dalton recognizes it. And Damian Williams untouched in the end zone. Type TD in the chat. Andrew says TD. Uh, Ginchin says TD. Tambor says TD. Bears take a 12-0 lead. on Minnesota, and they're going to go for two, try and make it a 14-0 lead. Get that thing behind me, move, Coop, unless it's just glitching on you. 31 seconds left here in the first half. It's 12-0. We'll get that score updated in a second. Bears snap it. Shovel pass. 
Allen Robinson gets in there. 14-0 Bears. Type TD. JF1 says touchdown. Curtis says touchdown. Fishing says touchdown. Bears plus four and a half. Looking like a lock. Let's ride. Here's a super chat from Kev. Let's ride. He sent it before the touchdown, but it still applies. Let's ride. Oh, we crossed 100 bucks too. Samson's in a $5 super chat saying, what do you think about the Harbaugh rumors with El Las Vegas? Some reports saying he's going to be announced as head coach tomorrow. Vic Fangio returning as DC. So there is a lot of buzz, Harbaugh and Vegas. There's some with the Bears as well. If the Raiders make the playoffs, though, how can you hire – how can you announce Harbaugh to the Raiders if they're still in the playoffs? Like, I don't think that's going to happen. Doesn't mean they're not going to hire him, but I don't think they would announce it while the Raiders are still in the playoffs. Fangio is DC. I would love it. Absolutely. Cheers to that. All right. Cairo Santos set to kick it off. Oh, and we have a bonus shot because we crossed $100 that I'll take for you guys. This kick return will be brought out from the one-yard line. Tackled before the 25 at the 24 with 26 seconds left. Cheers. Let's get that sub number up, Coop. Let's make a push here. Let's make a push late in the first half. We'll see if the Vikings get aggressive. We're 21 subs away, 38,979, 38,979. You can go ahead and push it across, Coop. 38,979 is where we are. 21 subs away from 39,000. Can we get there before halftime? We're 26 seconds left. Vikings in the shotgun. Cousins going to throw. Hit that subscribe button. Cousins throws downfield. Wide open man. Gain of 23 to Jefferson. Up near midfield. Biggest play of the game for Minnesota. So they're trying to get points here. Hit that sub button. 38,979. Daily videos. We'll have the full coaching uh, search covered for you guys. We'll have a live show on Monday, assuming that's when Matt Nagy gets fired. We're up to 38,981, 19 away. You could be the 39,000 subscribers, so help us get there. YouTube.com slash Bears now. Do not miss any of our coverage. 21 seconds left here in the first half. Cousins, 4 of 8, 38 yards in this one. In the gun. Takes the snap, four-man rush. Cousins gets pressured. He'll step up, throw on the run. Caught. Touch him. He didn't get touched. Now he gets up and forced out of bounds from Eddie Jackson near the 10-yard line. So Bears just getting torched after dominating this first half. Ron Madden, I see your super chat. We'll try and get to that in just a moment. But uh, Vikings threatening to get seven when they literally had 31 seconds left from their own 24. 16 subs away from 39,000. Come on, let's get there. If we get to 39K, better chance the Vikings won't score here. I don't know what Jalen Johnson was doing. He did not touch the receiver, so Eddie Jackson had to sprint over and force him out of bounds, which saved – Oh, Minnesota still used a timeout. I don't know why he got out of bounds, but uh, I guess we'll take that. Let's see where we're at. 38,987. We're 13 away. Sub, sub, sub. Ron Madden, we'll get to that super chat when we can. Hang with us here. First and 10 at the 11. Alexander Madison in the game. He lines up in the slot. Cousins getting pressured. Evades it. Throws on the run. Caught. Down at the four, flags come out. Zimmer signaling for a timeout, but with it being a flag, he may not have to take one. Let's see. Holding on Minnesota, so that'll drive it back 10 yards. And with seven seconds left, they may just have to bring on the field goal team. Ole Udo, 12 subs away from 39K. Let's ride. Yeah, complete hold by the right guard there, Udo. I'll just verbalize Ron's. Uh, he didn't send a question. Five bucks. I'll drink for him. Appreciate it, Ron. First and 20. Vikings offense still out there. Bears 
will now take a timeout. Seven seconds. So if you're Chicago, you just protect the goal, the goal line because this is the final play for Minnesota before a field goal attempt. All right, timeout, though. Perfect time. Make this final push. Sub-only chat still on. Let's hit 39,000 subs. We're nine away. Come on. We got to get there before halftime. If the Vikings score a touchdown here and we didn't reach 39,000 subs, that's on you. That's why uh, they scored if it ends up happening that way. Come on. Let's get 39K. Come on. Hit that sub button. Seven seconds left in the first half. This could be the final play of the first half. Six away, 38,994. 38,994. Come on. I got to do is subscribe. It's free, free of charge. Cousins throws end zone. He just threw it out of bounds. So Minnesota will have to settle for a field goal. Three seconds left. You still have time. We're five subs away. Don't be a fraud. Subscribe. Five subscribers away. I will take a shot if we reach 39,000 before the first half. Come on. Let's get it. <laughs> you ain't alive if you ain't subscribed, Chase Sr. says. The field goals unit is on the field. This is it. Are we going to get there before the kick? Yes, we just crossed it as the kick goes through the uprights. 39,005 subs. We doing a company shot here? <laughs> 39. It's kind of a boot. Hey, it's Eddie Jackson's old number. Four, 14 to 3. The field goal is good. Guys have stuff to, uh, to do, so I'm taking this shot solo. But, hey, I am the face of this channel. Help us uh, get to 40K now. So, there you go. All right. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We'll run through some halftime stats in a second. Keep the train moving on subscribers. Let's get to 40K. Thank you guys so much for 39,000. Let's keep the momentum going. And uh, let's ride. Congrats from Thomas. I appreciate it, Brian. In the chat as well. Yes, sir, from 902. Winning says your mom is the next head coach. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, let's see. Are the Bears going to fire Ryan Pace? We'll see. We'll talk about that. A lot of rumors out there. Our postgame show is really just going to be the latest rumors around this team. So we crossed 39,000. The drive to 40K starts in the second half. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to run through some halftime stats. And then uh, we will uh, take a break before the second half. So uh, I'll verbalize some stats before that halftime scoreboard is ready. Andy Dalton, 15 of 22, 162 yards and a touchdown. Uh, we've got uh, David Montgomery, 13 carries, uh, 61 yards uh, in the first half. Uh, let's see, receiving-wise, Darnell Mooney, six catches, 71 yards. Damian Williams with the uh, lone touchdown for the Bears. Two catches for 29 yards and that touchdown. Kirk Cousins, 5 for 10, 78 yards uh, in the first half. He's been sacked twice. Andy Dalton's been sacked three times, by the way. Dalvin Cook, six carries, 12 yards. Alexander Madison, two for nine. Uh, Vikings rushing attack has been shut down. Uh, Receiving-wise, uh, Amir Smith-Marset leading the way, one catch, 40 yards. Justin Jefferson, two for 32. Those are our stats in the first half. We're going to take a break here on Bears now, get some food. We'll be back for some second-half action, so don't go anywhere.
All right, we're back. Uh, missed one play. Sorry about that. Second and five after a touchback and a five-yard handoff. Cousins and the Vikings at their own 30. Toss play left. Cuts it back inside. That'll bring up third and one. Dalvin Cook picks up four. All right, type stop. Third down. Get the chat back pumping again. Get your stops in. I'm going to turn sub-only chat off for the time being. Type stop in the chat. Dalvin Cook gets the edge, and he's off to the races. Past midfield, past the 45, out of bounds at the 44. First down, Minnesota. Not a stop for Chicago. First and 10 at the 41. Cousins, play action. Setting up a screen. Nowhere to go. Loss of three. Good play. Alec Ogletree with the TFL. Second and 13 here. Each team has three tackles for loss. Cousins in the gun. Cook to his left. Bears bring four. Cousins, clean pocket, throws over the middle, incomplete. Now it's going to be third and 13. Type stop again, third and long. By the way, playoff picture update, Colts losing to the Jags 13-3. Trevor Lawrence in the first half, 208 yards and a touchdown. Easily the best half of football he's played all year. Third and 13, Cousins. Empty set in the gun, takes the snap, four-man rush. Robert Quinn slips, coming around the corner. Cousins throws downfield, busted coverage, touchdown, Minnesota. On third and 13, Amir Smith-Marset finds the end zone. Safety fell down. I, don't, I think it might have been Eddie Jackson. Jags just fumbled a recover for those who care. It's 14 to 9. And uh, no, that was uh, who fell on that play? Jackson was the other safety in coverage, but the other defender just fell down. Someone get a number on that? Who fell? Extra point for Minnesota is pure 14 to 10. Type F in the chat. This game is far from over. It would feel fitting for the Bears to blow a 14-0 lead to end the Matt Nagy era. All right, super chat, then we'll get that score up. Bear, Bear forever, here's hoping Quinn pads that sack record today. I hope so, man. I think Great story, Robert Quinn, uh, you know, two sacks last year, 18 this year, quite the turnaround. It's been fantastic. Uh, 23 fell down, so that was Marquis Christian. Of course, he's playing over Thomas Graham because that makes uh, – Perfect sense. He is terrible. Okay, appreciate the super chat. Uh, bear down and bet on some football games throughout the postseason. Chatsports.com slash bears. That is the link to go to to get going with BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bears. Use our promo code bear down. It's all one word, bear down. Go bet on some football games. I place my bets for week 18. They are as follow. I still feel good about Bears plus four and a half, but not as good as I felt with uh, 30 seconds left in the first half. Ten points since then. Bucks minus nine and a half against Carolina. Panthers stink. I have the 49ers plus four at the Rams. Cardinals minus six against Seattle. And then the Chargers on Sunday night football minus three 
in Las Vegas. Go bet on some football. It's a lot of fun. Chatsports.com slash bears. Promo code bear down. All right, let's get the energy back up in the chat. Bear down. You can either use the emojis or just type bear down. Either way is fine. Let's get the chat rate up once again. Uh, let's get this thing popping here. And uh, 10 quick points for Minnesota. A field goal to end the half and a touchdown out of the locker room. And all of a sudden, we've got a 14 to 10 ball game here at U.S. Bank Stadium as uh, the Vikings uh, – Try to uh, get win number eight. Bears looking for win number seven. Uh, so we'll see what happens over the final uh, uh, two quarters here. Still 12-24 tw left in this half. So that's where we sit as of now. Get the Bear Downs going. Quick score update across the uh, NFL. Then I'll get some shout-outs. Browns lead the Bengals 14-7 at the half. Uh, Bengals setting their, sitting their starters uh, for the playoffs. Lions 17, Packers 13, and I'm told Aaron Rodgers played the whole first half. Now Jordan Love is in in the second half. Uh, Bears lead here 14-10. <clears throat> Washington 6, Giants nothing. Uh, Jags 13, Colts 3, and the Jags are inside the 25 of Indianapolis. Uh, so keep an eye on that. Kurt, or Carson Wentz just got strip sacked. Steelers and Ravens tied at 3. Titans 21, Texans nothing, so Tennessee is going to get the number one seed in the AFC on that front. So those are the scores right now. Bear down in the chat. I'll get some shout-outs going. Grant says bear down. Galea says bear down. Zappy says bear down. Why is Thomas not playing? I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, bear down from Albert. Bear down from Randy. Daniel says bear down. Bear down from James. Uh, keep the bear downs coming in the live chat. All right, touchback. And the Bears will take over for their first drive of the second half at their own 25-yard line. First half stats, Andy Dalton, 15 of 22, 162 yards. David Montgomery, 13 carries, 61 yards. And then Darnell Moody, six catches for 71 yards. Dalton in the gun. Montgomery to his left. Push pass to Darnell Mooney. Looking for the edge. Gets about seven. Same play they started the game with. And uh, for the second time today, a pretty productive play. Seven yard. Technically pitch and catch from Dalton to Mooney. We'll give him eight officially. Mooney looking for another 100-yard uh, game. There you go. Darnell Mooney, 1,000-yard season in his second year. 75 catches for 1,000 yards. Good for the second year receiver fifth round pick last year great find by ryan pace who has done some good things as gm and now david montgomery picks up a first down so type your ones gain of four darnell mooney Fifth in receiving yards through his first two seasons out of the players in last year's draft, and that receiving class was loaded. Dalton, play action, throws over the middle, up the seam, caught. Cole Komet, first down and more, up to the Vikings 44-yard line, takes a big hit, but hangs on to the ball. Type your ones, another first down Chicago as the Bears looking to respond after that Vikings touchdown to start the second half. That was a pickup of about... 20 or so. Dalton, play action again. Deep crosser, incomplete. Skips it to Darnell Mooney, who wanted a flag, but he won't get one. I think Patrick Peterson. Yep, here comes the flag late. Peterson looked at the ref. I think he was like, yeah, that's probably a flag. Yeah, pass interference on Peterson, so that'll be a first down Chicago. Type your ones again. Yeah, it just grabs him. Probably didn't need to. Wasn't a very good throw, but he definitely grabbed him trying to pull back on that route. So first and 10 up to the 26-yard line. Keep those ones coming. Nick says one. Michael, card say one. Handoff here. David Montgomery drags through a couple defenders, picks up about three, bring up second and seven. Bears 14, Vikings 10, Chicago looking for win number seven, trying to end on a high note with a three-game winning streak. 
course, after this game, that's when things really began to heat up in Chicago. Matt Nagy expected to get fired. Will the same be true for Ryan Pace? David Montgomery, 15 carries, 68 yards. Also a decision coming on him soon. He is eligible for a contract extension starting tomorrow. Will he get one? We shall see. Montgomery still in the game. Dalton changing the play at the line. Second and seven. He'll hand it off. Monty spins off one tackler. Spins off another. Picks up about three. That should have gone nowhere, and he got three. Montgomery and Zeke Elliott are the best at turning negative two-yard runs into three-yard runs. Where they can just evade that first tackler or shed a tackle. Get something out of nothing. Third and four at the 20. Bears have entered the BetUS red zone. Bears just one of six on third down today. Less than 35% conversion rate on the year. Vikings showing pressure, but they'll back out of it. Four-man rush. Dalton throws left side. Perfect throw. Caught. Darnell Mooney. First down, Chicago. Type your ones. Type your ones. Someone says, Ben says, I predict pay stays with the Bears, but not as GM. Very possible. There have been rumors of him becoming president of football operations. And uh, there you go. Also rumors of uh, him getting fired. So both, either could happen. Get your ones in. Matt St. John, Ham, Randy, all saying one. ML saying one. Dalton under center, first and goal at the seven. David Montgomery gets a carry. Nowhere to go this time. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Second and goal here. It's going to be a loss of one. So second and goal here at the eight. Bears, 27th in a red zone scoring percentage. 82.6%. That's touchdown or field goal. So almost 18% of the time they get no points. Dalton, free blitzer, throws off his back foot. He'll just throw it out of bounds. Zimmer brought a linebacker blitz there, and uh, the Bears did not pick it up. Third and goal at the eight. Third down. See what uh, Nagy and Laser draw up here. Dalton, 18 of 26, 203 yards and a touchdown so far. Got to be smart with the football here. At minimum, you got to get a field goal. Bears break the huddle with 12 on the play clock. Third and goal. Dalton in the gun. Damian Williams to his right. Do they go back to that wheel route concept? We'll see. Dalton takes the snap. Looking, looking, steps up. Rolling. Breaks a sack. Can he get to the pylon? I think he did. Touchdown, Chicago! Andy Dalton spikes the ball in the end zone and scampers in from seven yards out. Type TD in the chat. I thought he was going to get blasted at the one-yard line, kind of ducked his head and skated in there. Let's see if he did get in. He's down. That's not a touchdown. That's not going to be a touchdown. That's not going to be a touchdown. That's not going to be a touchdown. It's going to be fourth and goal at the one. He's short. He is short. I bet they'll go for it from the one. Change the score. Touchdown not confirmed yet. It's 14 to 10 still. They're going to review it here. I think it's short, and if it is, what should they do? Type G for go for it. Type FG for field goal. Get your votes in. I would go for it, but they are 0 for 2 on fourth down today. So, third time's a charm. People are talking. Michael says go. Albert says go. TD from David. I, it was not a TD, unfortunately. It was not a touchdown. Subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash bears. Now we crossed 39,000 subs in the first half. We're now at 39,022. 39022 is where we sit as of now. 
subscribe. We have you guys covered. Uh, the trek to 40,000 is underway. Monday is a big day, Black Monday in the NFL. We expect Matt Nagy to get fired. We expect uh, to hear some kind of clarification on Ryan Pace, whether he's getting fired or staying within the organization. We will find all of that out, but we thank you for 39,000. Let's keep it going, though. Let's keep it going. Let's become the top ranked Bears channel here on YouTube. All I got to do is hit that sub link below, uh, youtube.com slash bears. Now, big red button that should be on your screen, whether it's your phone, tablet, or desktop. It's free, free daily videos. We don't charge you guys because uh, that's how we roll. Subscribe. It would help support the channel. All right. Uh, grade the Bears so far as we await this review. I'm almost certain it's going to be overturned. Still a TV timeout. And it has been overturned. Uh, they haven't returned from TV, but my GameCast is telling me it's been overturned. So it's going to be fourth and goal at the one. Definitely short, right at the one-yard line. So decision time again for Matt Nagy. Let's see. Fourth and goal at the one-yard line. Can't be scared. Bears going to roll the dice. For the third time today, what do you have to lose? Your job, it's already lost. Fourth and goal at the one. Bears in the huddle as the officials get everything straightened out here. Just please don't do it out of the shotgun. If you go under center and get stuffed, that's fine. But don't, don't go shotgun again on fourth and one, just like you did earlier. All right. Nut check time here for this Bears offensive line. Fourth and goal at the one. Dalton under center. Jimmy Graham in motion. Using him as a blocker is stupid, but it looks like that's what they're going to do. No, it's a play action. Dalton looking. Nothing there. Sacked again on fourth down. This team fucking blows. Three fourth down attempts, three sacks. Not joking. Two of those fourth and one. You can't – get the thanks, Nagy, out there. Get thanks, Nagy, up, Coop. You can't make this shit up. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's an absolute joke. I got a Bears fan in the studio. Get in here. Get in here. He's wearing a brown sack. We don't know who it is, but that's, uh, that's how I feel right now. Someone has infiltrated the studio. We don't know who it is. It's just – it's ridiculous. Kirk Cousins throws it out into the flat, gain of seven. I mean, look at this guy. It's, that's Bears fans watching Matt Nagy on fourth down play calls. It's just unbelievable. Three fourth down attempts, three th sacks, two of those on fourth and one. I mean, what are you doing? Hey, have you heard of David Montgomery? Use him. He's pretty good. Second and one, offset eye formation, Kirk Cousins under center. Toss play, Cook, left side, stuffed, loss of three. Now the defense, like they've had to for the last three years, going to have to stand tall. Type stop in the chat. Third and four. Graham says, sounds like, or someone says, sounds like you've been smoking J's. No, but, you know, I could use some shots if you want to send in some $10 super chats. Cousins takes the snap on third down. Quinn almost gets to Cousins. Now he will go down. Sack. I think it's going to be, is Quinn going to get credited? If it is, it's sack number 19. Let's see who got home. It might be a split sack here. Type sack. Oh, that's, that's, that's going to be a split sack. It's going to be Quinn and Nichols. Quinn and Nichols each get a half sack there. So that's 18 and a half for Robert Quinn on the ear. Type sack in the chat. So the Bears defense stands tall again. Daz Newsom on to return the punt. He'll get a chance. Breaks a tackle on the initial catch. Here comes Daz Newsom past the 40 up to the 42-yard line. Another nice return for the rookie out of North Carolina. 
If you guys want a shout out, follow me on Instagram at HGramNFL. I'm still following everybody up to 1350. We're at 1345, so let me follow the last five that followed me. I just followed you all. Next five followers get a follow. After that, I'm giving shout outs. Give me a follow. It's at HGramNFL. I'll put the link in the chat as well at HGramNFL. And uh, let's go. More Bears news, rumors, updates on Instagram. So go give me a follow at HGram NFL. Uh, Flocka gets a follow. Joey gets a follow. Give me a follow on IG. We got a few more coming in here. Joe gets a follow. Jatton, Alex, Jacob. We're two away from 1350. We just hit it. Eric gives me a follow as well. Let's ride. We'll get a super chat in a second. The fourth down play calling has just been abysmal. It just has. Couple supers coming in. Carter Miller, first up here. Keep following me on IG, by the way. Uh, don't let Matt Nagy leave the stadium employed. Love the show. Longtime fan, longtime listener. Keep doing you, Harrison Carter. That's love right there. You're an OG. Cheers to you for that one. Clay coming in here. Uh, I want Nagy gone. How do you call that on the one? Two fourth and one calls today. Both throws, both sacks. Disastrous. Cheers to you. My guy, the Duke, and then I'm going to need another beer from somebody if I can get a Coors Light. Uh, the Duke with the $10 super chat. Why does Nagy hate Monty? But real question, what, what are the chances we don't know about Pace for a while? What if he pitched, he can land Peyton, and once that fails, then he gets fired? I just don't think you can operate that way. I guess it's possible. That's a dangerous game you're playing, though, because what if that takes a week or two? and that doesn't happen, then you're behind the eight ball. I don't think you can do that. So I got to take a shot for the Duke because $10 Super Chats equal a shot. We'll flash the Super Chat menu when we get a second, but cheers to that. I guess they didn't hear me, Coop, so you'll have to go get me a little sluggy from the fridge, Coors Light. A little Coorsy. Keep those mountains blue, baby. All right, 14-10 Bears. They got the ball back with 547 remaining. In the third quarter, at the their own 42-yard line, Dalton under center, Cole Komet in motion. Dalton changing the play at the line. He'll hand it off. Montgomery maybe gets a yard. <laughs> Did you drop it again? It. Oh. Well, I saw what happened on 49ers last week. <laughs> hey, Chase, I heard that, that beer fizzing last week was your fault, not Coop's. Is that is that true? I heard that beer that you opened last week was your fault, not Coop's, for it. <laughs> Coop, Coop says it's not true, but uh, there you go. Second and nine, Vikings bring pressure. Dalton throws over the middle, beats the blitz. Cole Komet. First down inside the 40, type your ones up to the 39-yard line. Producer Jack coming in, uh, playing detective, says, Coop dropped so the So it's can. true that I dropped it. However, it was about 20 minutes between the time that I dropped it to the time he shotgunned it. Well, Come on. The evidence is sketchy. It's sketchy on both sides. Type one for first down. It's 2021. Both sides can be true. All right, Andy Dalton under center. He'll hand it off. David Montgomery gets maybe a yard, not much. Bring up second and nine. Second and nine here. Dalton, 19 to 27, 222 yards. I mean, you look at the overall stats, and you're like, how is this a game? The, Dol the Bears have run 53 plays to the Vikings 30, 54 now to the Vikings 30, and it's a four-point game. It's because they, they can't convert in the red zone. Two field goal attempts, three failed fourth downs in opponent's territory today. Second and nine, Dalton throws right side, caught. Allen Robinson, gain of about six. 
That's his second catch of the game. Frustrating year for A-Rob. Be nice if he could get a touchdown and maybe his final game as a bear. Here's our Super Chat menu before we get to this key third down. All Super Chats get a shout-out. Five bucks. We beers cheers you. I'm ready to open a fresh one. Ten bucks will take a shot of Fireball for 20. Coop will take two shots. And then for $50, I will do a beer bong. We're still ready to go on that. All right. Dalton in the gun on third and three. Free blitzer. Dumps it off. Montgomery. Good play by Dalton. First down, gain of four. Dalton was about to get blasted, and he just kind of flipped it out. And uh, Monty scooped it up and uh, picked up a first down. Type your ones. Good quarterback play right there. It's a good tackle by Dantzler. That could have been more yards, but the uh, – the first down was reached, so that's most important. Second catch of the day for Montgomery, just seven yards receiving. Dalton in the gun again. Two back formation, got a tight end in the backfield, and David Montgomery. Throws underneath to Monty, who drops the ball. Second and ten. Someone says, keep Nagy, run a two QB system, Dalton Falls 2022. That's uh, that's funny. It's a drop by Monty, but it probably was only going to be about a two-yard pickup. So, see, so he got hit right as, uh, right as he dropped it. Second and ten here for Chicago. Again, you're, we're right in that range where the, uh, the Bears offense is stalled out today. Are the Bears going to have to take – no, they're going to get a play clock. Re Second and 10, 14-10 with two and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. Dalton and the gun. Daz Newsom in motion. Let's see if he gets involved in the offense. Dalton takes the snap. Swings it out. Damian Williams, screenplay, has some room, but then the Vikings just close in. Oh, he breaks a tackle. Williams stiff arms another dude, gets about four. That should have been a loss of three. That's a hell of a three-yard play, four-yard play for Damian Williams there. That was almost a disaster. It looked like initially this was going to be a lot of room, but then the Vikings just pursued it quickly, and then Williams broke a tackle, stiff arm another guy. Patrick Peterson picked up a couple extra yards, bring up a third and six. It's a third and manageable on what should have been about a third and 13. Let's see if the Bears can convert. They started 0 for 5. They're now 3 of 9, 3 of their last four. Third and six. Marquise Goodwin in motion. Dalton takes the snap. Looking, looking, throws, and complete. Looking for Darnell Mooney. Diving attempt, couldn't squeeze it. Bears will likely have to kick here. I assume they're going to kick it, and they will. Here comes Cairo Santos in the field goal unit with 141 left here in the third quarter. Just got another super chat. We'll get to that after this field goal. Santos, two for two on the day. Good from 43, good from 46. This one's going to be from 42, so right in that same range. Santos. Kick is away, and it's good. Three for three. Get your threes up, 17 to 10. Type three. Joseph, we'll get to that super chat momentarily. <laughs> Are you wearing that on the show? Yes. That's good stuff. Type three in the chat. Did you see that? That's epic. James says three. Top hand says three. Buggin says three. Here's Joseph Hol Holloman. Uh, any potential big names for 2022's draft being floated for the Bears, possibly in the second round? You know, th at this point in the process, it's really about the first round guys, and obviously the Bears don't have a first round pick. Some names I've seen David Bell out of Purdue. Uh, there's a, a cornerback for, out of Auburn that I've seen some buzz around that could be a second-round guy. I forget his name, but uh, he's jumped off the page a little bit. Uh, again, once we get through this whole coaching thing and talk some free agency, we're going to crank up draft as well. Just because the Bears don't have a first-round pick doesn't mean we're not going to talk uh, draft. Uh, that's why you guys should subscribe to the channel because uh, we will get all of that covered. All right, BetUS, our sportsbook partner here. 
on today's show. A uh, quick little read here. If you want to bet on NFL or NBA as well, go bet on the Bulls. There is money to be had. Chatsports.com slash Bears. Promo code Bear Down. It's all one word, Bear Down, when you go to Chatsports.com slash Bears. So when you use that promo code, you put down 100 bucks, you'll get 125 for free to play with. Like a lot of uh, our producers here at the Chat Sports office hadn't bet a lot before. They got that deposit bonus. Boom. They've had a lot of extra money to play with, kind of figure out what type of bets they like. You can always DM me for questions as well. But go to chatsports.com slash bears, promo code bear down. Okay. Name a random Bears player in the chat. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm going to read, read through some scores real quick. Browns 14, Bengals 10. Again, Cincinnati uh, sitting all of their starters. Uh, you got Lions 24, Packers 16, Packers driving. Aaron Rodgers played the first half, but not here in the second half. Uh, Bears 17, Vikings 10 right here. Washington 12, Giants nothing. The Giants got to fire Joe Judge. I mean, he's just – he must be dealt with. Uh, Jags 16-3, to and they're in the red zone. This is going to happen, I think, folks. If the Jags get a touchdown here, they are going to play spoiler in week 18, and I love it. Urban Meyer could never. Ravens 10, Steelers 6. Winner of that game all of a sudden is alive because of the Jags. And then Titans 21, Texans 7. Texans driving. Can they make it interesting? Chiefs need a Titans loss to get the number one seed. All right, name a random Bears player. Let's get some shout-outs going here. Ryan Nall, Moosin Muhammad, that's a good one. Neil Anderson, Thomas Jones, Tyreek Hill, Brian Bushnagel, we got Kyrus Tonga, Cody Whitehair, Zach Miller, Barry Minter, George Hallis, uh, Gail Sayers, Samurai Mike, Thomas Jones, Jim Harbaugh. Hopefully he's not random for long. Let's bring Jim home, baby. All right, Cairo Santos going to kick it away here. It's going to be a touchback. Did we get to that super chat? We did? Okay. I got a drink for it. Cracking a new one. Appreciate that last super. Oh, yeah, we did. It was the one about the draft. Appreciate the question. All right. Someone says Cody Parkey. Don't you dare say Cody Parkey. That was the end. That was the beginning of the end of the Matt Nagy era. I'm convinced. If that field goal goes in, who knows what happens? But it didn't because Cody Parkey sucks. All right, under center, Kirk Cousins, play action, boot to the right. He'll throw it across field to his tight end, or is that Jefferson coming on a drag? I, th I think it is. Justin Jefferson, gain of about four. Helmet came off, but didn't look like anything malicious. Just popped off there. Four yard pickup. Fox was just showing a graphic. Jefferson. Uh, closing in on one of Randy Moss's seasons in receiving yards in Minnesota. He's just been a terrific player for the Vikings through two seasons. Cousins in the pocket, swings it out. Dalvin Cook left side, trying to get the edge. He'll just run out of bounds. Loss of two. Eddie Jackson in pursuit. Jackson's quietly played a lot better in recent games. Hopefully this carries over into next season. Someone said Thomas Graham. Was he in on that tackle? I may have missed that. I hope he was. I think he was. I hope you're right. Jags, second and goal at the eight, dude. Come on, Jacksonville. Yeah, Thomas Graham is in the game. We'll keep an eye on him here. Matched up on K.J. Osborne. Cousins. Throws right side, deep out. Caught, first down, not sure who that was. Smith Marset, he's had a huge game for Minnesota. About a 20 yard play right there, first down Vikings. And that might bring us to the end of quarter number three. Well, maybe not. They may snap it real quick. Five on the game clock, four, three. They're not going to snap it. One, fourth quarter time. Get your fours up. We've got that built, Coop. Get your fours up. Get some fours, and then we'll run through a couple stats here at the end of this quarter. We have a couple of those player ones we can go to. Cool. Yeah, let's go QB. Let's go QB running back receiver if that's how it works. Get your fours up. We'll get some shout outs. Cool. Mhm. Mm get those fours up. Trying to send Matt Nagy out with three straight wins, and then say sayonara. Paul says four, Zach says four, Plasma says four, JF1 says four, Ashigo says four, RIP Colts. 
Yes, touchdown Jags. Yes. Oh, let's ride, Jacksonville. Let's go, Trevor Lawrence. Daniel says Ford. The Jags lost 50 to 10 last week, and they're going to potentially knock the Colts out. Jacob says four. That is hilarious. All right, we're going to run through a few stats here. 17-10 Bears entering the fourth. That's fine. We'll run through uh, a few stats. David Montgomery uh, having another solid-ish game, 19 carries, 71 yards, a long of uh, 11, doesn't have any touchdowns, uh, but uh, potentially a 100-yard game here. Andy Dalton been solid, been steady, 22 of 32, 236, a touchdown and no interceptions. The Bears have played clean today, but they've missed out on three fourth down opportunities. Otherwise, this game really shouldn't be that close. Uh, so that's our QB running back combination uh, so far in this one. Uh, Receiving-wise, Darnell Mooney leading the way. Uh, he's got, uh, there you go, eight catches, 92 yards. Again, Mooney crossed 1,000 yards in the season. Hell of a year for him. Um, so that is uh, certainly fantastic as well. Uh, so that is where we sit. Uh, Coop also, I'm just going to verbally talk to my producer real quick. Uh, as we go through the fourth, if you want to move some of those post-game graphics over, uh, it's pretty much all Bill. We just got to edit a couple of them. So, All right, appreciate you guys for rocking and rolling here. Fourth quarter time, keep those fours coming. As we uh, are set to wrap up the 2021 season for the Chicago Bears. It's bittersweet, right? Um, disappointing year. We're all ready for the Nagy era to end, but uh, we don't have. We only get you know 17 games a year, so this is uh, this is it. Uh, final quarter of the season. So let's try to enjoy it. Hopefully, the Bears can get a win. Uh, did get a ten dollar super chat. We'll get to that here in just a moment. We can get to it real quick before the fourth quarter starts. The Duke again. What's the deal with Thomas Graham? Uh, he legit. I like him, man. I think he should have played more down the stretch here. I think he'll have a chance to compete for a starting job next year, potentially. Kirk Cousins rolls out, boot to his right, gain of about six. Roquan Smith on the tackle. Pour myself a shot for that $10 super chat. We're $57 away from uh, 200 Every 100 bucks is a bonus shot. Second and three. Pickup of seven there. As Minnesota's trying to... Drive down and tie the game. Cousins under center. Toss play up the middle. Cook gets about a yard. Yes. I'm out of everything. Third and short upcoming. Get your stops in. You got plenty of time. I just wanted to put it on your... Put it on your radar. Third and two here for Chicago. We've got over 900 people watching live for Minnesota, I should say. Type stop, probably four down territory, I would think, and plus territory. We'll see here. Dalvin Cook held in check today by the Bears. 12 carries, 44 yards, less than four per carry. Cousins fakes toss, rolls to his right, steps up, pumps, launches one downfield. Cousins going for the end zone, jump ball, and... Justin Jefferson pushes off Eddie Jackson, catches it for a touchdown, and dances on him. No flag. Touchdown, Minnesota. I mean, that looked live like a pl pretty clear push off to me. 17-16. Let's see. I mean, Jackson's got good coverage. And then Jefferson just pushes off. Well, okay, no flag. On for the extra point, and it's good. 17 all. Hey, maybe we'll get that close game push here. I'll take that. Type F. Tied at 17. That looked like a push off to me, but. Hey, man. Ah, just, uh, yeah, what else is there to say? 17 all. 
More in a minute. I uh, want to remind you guys to subscribe. Uh, we'll have a post-game show, but it's really going to be more about kind of wrapping up the season and uh, talking about the big rumors around Nagy, Pace. We'll talk a little Vic Fangio as well. I think bringing him back as D.C. could happen, depending on who the head coach is. Link is below. Uh, stay tuned for our daily videos that we will have planned all off-season long. YouTube.com slash Bears now. This is the time we cross 39,000 subs. Let's keep it moving. 39,040 subscribers. And I'm making the executive decision. We're going sub only. Need a little energy boost. Going sub only here. So if you want to be a part of the chat, you got to be subscribed to the channel. All you got to do is hit that big red button. Let's get to 40,000 subs as soon as possible. Link is below, uh, but just hit that big red button. Sub, sub, sub for dubs, dubs, dubs. Hopefully this offseason, uh, the Bears get some big dubs with the new coaching staff. All right. The question remains around Ryan Pace. I think we all know Matt Nagy's not going to return. But will Ryan Pace? Type 1 if you think he's going to get fired. Type 2 if you think he's going to stay within the organization. Uh, I think he – gosh, I keep going back and forth. I think it's 50-50. I'm going to make this the live poll question. Will Ryan Pace be fired? Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. Also answer our live poll question as well. Big Boy says no. Le Quinerka says one. Rick says yes. Uh, Jackson needs to go. That wasn't great, but he kind of got pushed off. He was in good position. Uh, he's played better down the stretch. He obviously hasn't lived up to that contract. Plasma says yes. Darnell says yes. Punt Pace from uh, Bruce. They won't from Meme. We know he's got a good relationship with George and Virginia McCaskey, so as long as they're here, it's possible he stays. Uh, two from Chad. We got uh, Alumine saying yes. I don't know. The live poll is literally 50-50 through over 100 votes. That's how I feel. That's what the rumors suggest. It's, it could go either way. I've heard he could get promoted to president of football ops. I've heard he could get fired. I heard he could stay as GM. I do think staying as simply GM is the least likely of the three, by the way. So... We'll see what happens. Vikings booted away here on the kickoff, and it's going to be a touchback. All right. Bears had a 14-0 lead, but we are now tied at 17. <laughs> Justin Jefferson closing in on Randy Moss in his 2003 season in terms of yardage. He's not going to close in on touchdowns. Moss had 17. Jefferson has nine. But Jefferson is 42 yards away from tying his record. So... Something to monitor for the Vikings during this fourth quarter. All right, Bears in the huddle. Andy Dalton breaks it. Here we go. 22 of 32, 236, and a touchdown so far today. Darnell Mooney in motion. Pitch pass to him. Mooney looking for some room. He'll get about six. They've run that play three times, and it's all gotten six yards or more. Big day for Mooney. He's now up to nine catches for 98 yards, looking for another 100-yard day. Second-year wide receiver coming into this game was at uh, 929 on the year. He's now over 1,000 yards on the season. Really good year for Darnell Mooney. Really good pick by Ryan Pace. I, I give credit where it's due. Dalton under center, play action, looking, launches a deep crosser, caught. Darnell Mooney again. It's been the Mooney game. He's been the number one guy this year. Type your ones. First down, Chicago. Really good deep crosser. Beats his man. Good ball from Dalton. Gain of 18. 10 catches, 116 yards for Darnell Mooney today. A young star in the making, perhaps. Dalton in the shotgun. I moved it over earlier, I think. Check if it's in there, but I think I did move it over. If Actually, I don't know. I'll, I'll get it moved if not. Okay, I'll get it moved. Just X out of it if you're in it. So, gain a four on first down. Second and six here. Just past midfield at the 47. Let me 
Should be in there. Dalton drops back. Sacked. He goes down for the fifth time today. Dalvin Tomlinson gets home that time, and now it's going to be third and long. Tomlinson just bullies Cody Whitehair, who has really not played that well this year, especially in pass protection. Tevin Jenkins is in at left tackle, so he's getting some reps here, but that was Cody Whitehair. Third and 15 now. Fifth sack of the day for Minnesota. Dalton takes the snap. Vikings bring five. Dalton launches right side, incomplete, looking for Allen Robinson, and the Bears will have to punt. That sack kills that drive. And Pat O'Donnell will have to boot it away. While we await for him to do so, I want to tell you guys about our friends over at Bet. U.S. Not too late to get your bets in for the afternoon slate. Those are the games to bet on because those are the games that matter even more in the playoff picture. So there's good value to find some good point spreads here coming up in these games that kick off here in about an hour. Go to chatsports.com slash bears. Use our promo code bear down. It's chatsports.com slash bears. Promo code bear down. Uh, get that 125% deposit bonus with that promo code. I've got the link in the information in the live chat. Get going today, and I'll even show you my uh, my picks this week, and we'll uh, get you guys caught up on some scores from the early window here as uh, one really stands out uh, early on. These are my picks. Only game active right now, Bears plus 4.5, but I like those other games as well. Browns 14, Bagels 10. Nothing really at stake there. Cincinnati's clinched the AFC North. They're sitting their starters. Lions 24, Packers 22. Nothing at stake. Uh, Bears and Vikings tied here. Washington 19, Giants 7, so the Giants have scored at least. Uh, Jags 23, Colts 3, uh, Colts have second and goal, but all the way at the 18, Carson Wentz just got sacked. It's been a rough day for him. Breakout game for Trevor Lawrence, 223 yards passing and two touchdowns. Uh, elsewhere, Ravens 10, Steelers 6, uh, Titans 21, Texans 10, and the Texans are in the red zone. Still an opportunity, so the games to really watch in the playoff picture. If the Jags beat the Colts, that opens the door for the winner of Baltimore and Pittsburgh to potentially sneak in. Uh, also, if Houston can mount a comeback and beat Tennessee, the Chiefs would get the number one seed in the AFC. So that's kind of what's at stake right now uh, here at the end of these uh, 1 o'clock games. So stay tuned for all that. We'll keep you guys updated. All right, back to Bears-centric storylines. When will Matt Nagy be fired? Today or Monday? It could go either way. I think it'll be tomorrow, but uh, he will be fired. That, that much I can pretty much assure you. Uh, the question only is uh, when exactly. Will it be today or will it be Monday? Uh, field, Fields jersey, slash Fields jersey. That's the one. Sorry, I meant to move it earlier. Don't do the bet US one. It's the slash field for 90 bucks or whatever. Um, okay, James says Monday. Daniel says today. Carter says today. Appreciate you guys rocking and rolling us here. JF says today, Monday from Jacob. I think it'll we'll hear something tomorrow morning. That's what I think. Um, could be wrong, but uh, I think that's uh, that's what's going to happen on that front. So uh, we shall see. We shall see. Okay, uh, Minnesota takes over after the punt at their own 13, looking for their first lead on the day if they can get points here. Cousins under center. He'll play action. Boot to the left. Here comes Robert Quinn. Boom. Swats it as he tries to throw it away. Tipped that ball, and it fluttered. Jalen Johnson couldn't quite get to it, but incomplete on first down. Eddie Jackson was back there, too. It actually was Eddie Jackson who tipped it, who came off the edge. I thought it was Quinn, but it was Jackson. Vikings have flipped a switch since halftime. They've almost doubled up Chicago in the second half in yards, and obviously they've outscored the Bears 14-3 to since halftime. Draw play, Dalvin Cook, gain of five. That'll bring up third and five. Type stop, here we go. Good chance to get off the field and get the ball in decent field position if you're the Chicago Bears. Third and five. 
Type stop. Huge for the state of this franchise. Huge. It is big in this individual game, though, with 10.20 to go. Get a stop here. Force a punt from just outside their end zone. Maybe get a return from uh, Daz Newsom. We shall see. Third and five. Cousins. Under center. Play action. Robert Quinn coming off the edge. Can't get there. Cousins throws. Caught. Jefferson again. Beats Jackson and Artie Burns. First down, Minnesota. Jefferson, Cousins to Jefferson is heating up. Type F in the chat. It was Jackson lining up in the nickel there, and he just got torched by Jefferson. That's a tough matchup. I think I jinxed Eddie Jackson. Ever since I said he's been playing well, he gave up that long touchdown, push off or not, and then he just gave up that one. Cousins hands it off. Alexander Madison dragging dudes. Gets about five yards. Second and five. For Minnesota, nine minutes left here in this ball game. The final game of the year for both of these teams. Bears six and ten, Vikings seven and nine. Both head coaches, Matt Nagy and Mike Zimmer, expected to be fired, especially Nagy. Here goes Dalvin Cook, finds a seam. He's off to the races inside the 30, down to the 20. Big run for Cook. First down, Minnesota, as they are trying to take their first lead of the game. About a 30-yard pickup from Dalvin Cook, easily his biggest of the game. He was averaging 3.8 yards per carry. Uh, that average will scoot on up after that big one. He's now at 5.6 yards per carry, 14 carries, 79 yards, a long of 29, which he just picked up. Deion Bush eventually tackling him at the 21. Just outside the BetUS red zone is Minnesota. Kirk Cousins under center. Bears bring five. Cousins. Clean pocket, blitz picked up, throws, corner of the end zone, cut, touchdown, Minnesota, K.J. Osborne. Type F in the chat. Defense has gotten torched here in the second half. There's no two ways around it. Type F in the chat. We just got a $10 super chat. We'll get to that momentarily. By the way, two guys were wide open in the end zone. I don't know how that happens. KJ Osborne. Six plays, 87 yards in just under three minutes as the Vikings take a 23-17 lead, waiting for the extra point here. Then we'll get to this super chat. Snap down. Kick is up and through. 24-17 Minnesota with 8.04 remaining. Linda David with the $10 super chat. Linda Dowd, sorry. If you like glance real quick, it almost looks like AVI, but uh, it's not quite. Cheers, $10 super chat. Let's show the menu. Why am I taking a shot, you ask? Well, $10 Super Chats equal a shot, a fireball shot from yours truly. All Super Chats get a shout out. Five bucks uh, equals a beer cheer. I'll take a little sluggy, a little sip. 20 bucks, producer Coop will take two shots, and for $50, I'll do a beer bong. I'm ready to go if you guys want to do it, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, grade the bears now. It's, it's gr the grade slowly declined, slowly declined. Uh, I don't know, C- minus at this point. I mean, you're still in the game on the road, but you were about two and a half point underdogs and you're down seven. Oh, by the way, so much for plus four and a half. F me, am I right? God. Nagy can't even get me one final cover? Come on, Matt. We'll see ya. It's still got time, but I've seen this before. <laughs> I've seen this before. Only the Bears could be up 14 nothing, and not only lose, but probably not cover the spread either. Just classic. 
Just classic. Uh, other scores real quick as you guys get your grades in. Browns 14-10 over the Bengals still. 24-22 Lions over the Packers. Uh, Washington just added a field goal. They lead the Giants 22-7. Jags have the ball. Colts did not score. They're up 23-3 over Indianapolis. So barring a miracle, the Colts are going to lose and potentially miss the playoffs now. Uh, Ravens 10, Steelers 6. And then uh, Titans 21, Texans 18. Will the Tennessee Titans blow a 21-0 lead and the Chiefs potentially steal the number one seed? That would be hilarious. I'm being told we got another $20 super chat. Is that true? Is that what you said? That is what he said. That's two shots for producer Coop. We'll get to that in just a moment. We'll flash it on screen, and then at the next dead ball, Coop will come up here and take two shots. All right, Dalton, under center. The Duke will get to that when we can. Play action. Rolling out. Dalton completes. Cole Komet, gain a six. Good positive play on first down. They'll give him seven officially. Yeah, it's 20. It's two shots. Here's the Duke. The Duke goes, a Bears defensive collapse in the second half? Shocking. Please make this season end already. I want this offseason content to get my hopes up again. I'm ready to be hurt again. Hey, subscribe to the channel. Regardless of what happens, if we get hurt again, we'll be hurt together, the Duke. So hit that big red button and subscribe today. Sub only chat is on. If you want to be a part of the chat, you got to be subscribed. David Montgomery gets a carry on second and three. Gets about a yard, so it'll be third and two. At the next dead ball, Coop will come up here and take a couple of shots. We're also $27 away from 200. That's a bonus shot. So keep that in mind. All right, third and two. Can the Bears convert? They better. Dalton in the gun. Monty to his right. Dalton takes a snap. Four-man rush. Quick out. Caught. Darnell Mooney. Easy first down. Gain of about six. Type your ones. Darnell Mooney has been terrific this year. He's been terrific today. That's his 11th catch for about 122 yards. He's been outstanding. That's just easy. You play man coverage on Mooney, quick out like that, he's too fast. 11 catches, 123 yards, gain of seven. Type your ones. Little week 18 overtime? Who says no? Dalton, play action. <laughs> Launches over the middle, too high. Oh, Harrison Smith popped. Darnell Mooney, and I think that's going to be a flag. Throw it. Throw the flag. Come on. Ah, oh, there it comes. There it comes. He's He was open, too. Dalton's got to hit him on the chest. He let, he let his receiver out the dry there. Mooney got right back up, though. Another good route by Mooney, but Dalton just airmailed him. And he launched into his head. He led with the shoulder, but he hit his head, dude. They're going to call that. He's defenseless. He's in the air. Oh, they picked it up. Oh, come on. Is Tony Corrente back on this game? Second and ten. Dalton in the gun. Throws. Demir Bird, gain of five. We got another super chat from Corey Sells Cars, my guy. I took Bears plus four and a half, so a lot of things to – to consider here in these final six minutes. You have to bet on, on, on this team when you're out of the playoffs to keep it more interesting. It's just part of the rules. Third and four, we'll get to this super after this play. Under six minutes to go, 545 and counting. Bears four of 12 on third down today. Dalton takes the snap, play action, throws out into the flat. Mooney, got to get to the sticks. He's not going to get there. He hesitated for a minute. Pretty good spot, though. You're, I think you're going to go. It's about fourth and a yard, so we'll see what happens. Corey sells cars. If the Bears score a touchdown, will Nagy go for two? I think it depends on how much time is left. No hesitation here. They will go for it. Here we go. Someone says can't blame the rest for this one. Of course not. They, they've blown a 14-0 lead. 
Bears one of four on fourth down. Play action. They're throwing again on fourth and one. Throws it off his back foot. Intercepted. Vikings coming the other way. A meltdown. This might be a pick six. The 30, the 20, the 10. Matt Nagy's a fraud. Touchdown, yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. Let's go, Three fourth and ones. And Matt Nagy's called a passing play on all of them. What in the hell is that? Pick six. You, you literally cannot make this up. Like, you cannot make, where's the drop? We got the micro mic drop. You can't make this up. Unbelievable. Fra Ju Lent. 31 17, Minnesota. Let's drink. Oh, we know we got a $10. $10 super so we can both drink. I, don't, I just don't want you to miss it on the chat because the chat is humming. Oh my God, this can't be real. Dalton was going to get sacked again. He's like, fuck, I've already been sacked three times in this situation. He throws it up, pick six. It's just like you can't... You can't make it up, folks. Let's get that score up at the bottom, too, if we can. Subscribe to the channel because no one's going to keep it as real as me. Matt Nagy's a fraud. 14-0 in this game. Outscored 31-3 since then. An absolute meltdown. Honestly, a perfect ending to the Matt Nagy era. A perfect ending. Uh, David with the $10 super chat. Thanks for calling the plays all season. Appreciate your service and humor. Hey, if you can't have fun doing this, go work in accounting. That's what I always say. Uh, Let's, let's get the shots coming. Coop owes you two. I'm going to take two as well because I owe you one for that 10-piece, and uh, I'll take one with Coop. So uh, let's ride. You guys are going 0-2 tonight with the Bulls too. <laughs> Listen to Co Boo Coop. Boo this man. He just talks shit to y'all. Cheers. Touchback on the ensuing oh. kickoff. I hope we get another fourth and one. I just want to see what happens. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Can we leave Nagy on the tarmac? Cheers. Cheers. Kidding. Sort of. <laughs> Keep sending them in. We're 10 bucks away from 200 as we just got another five, Coop. Yep. So we'll load that one up as the Bears attempt to make this a one-score game. What a freaking disaster. This was 14-3 to at halftime, and it's 31-17 now. And there's still... Five minutes left. Like, unbelievable. Dalton in the gun. Takes the snap. Throws right side. Caught. Demir Bird, gain of 12, first down. You know how they say all good things come to an end? So do a lot of bad things. Roughing the passer, so that'll be another 15. We'll get to that super chat. I think it's probably within 75 still. Yeah, you should be good if you reset it here. From TJ. TJ, we're trying to get to it. If not, I'll verbalize it for you. A lot of comments coming in here. That's not roughing the passer, by the way, but the Bears will take. That's a sympathy flag. Those definitely happen in sports, by the way, where officials give you a call because they almost feel bad. First and 10 at the Vikings, 49. Let's at least get the score back up here, Coop. Dalton in the gun, Herbert to his right. Dalton. Oh, he's hit as he throws. Picked off again. <laughs> oh. You cannot have a better ending to the Matt Nagy era. The Vikings are bowling in the end zone and taking photos. Holy shit. TJ with the super chat. I need some $10 ones so I can take some shots. I'm a Bears fan, but I'm glad this is happening. No more doubt Nagy is sure gone after this turn of a game. He was gone regardless. Believe me when I tell you that. Cheers, though. 
$10 away from 200 So if someone wants to send in a 10-piece, that's two for the price of one. That would be two shots for the price of one because every $100 is a bonus shot. Here's our Super Chat menu. All Super Chats get a shout-out. Five bucks. Well, beers cheers you. Ten bucks. I'll take a shot. Twenty bucks. Coop takes two shots. And for 50 I will do a beer bong. At this point, if we're not just drinking and having fun, the game's over. So uh, let's just do that. All right, incomplete on first down. Let's do a sub reminder here, Coop, and then we'll get to that super chat from Amos. We're now $5 away. Help me out. Help me feel better about this team. Subscribe to the channel. We're at 39,068 subscribers. Let's at least get to 39,100. Come on. Let's keep it moving here. Uh, the season might be over, but the coverage is just beginning because this team's going to have a new coach, potentially a new GM, new staff, free agency, draft. We're going to have you guys covered. This is the channel, youtube.com slash bears now. Do not miss any of it here on Chicago Bears now. Loss of four, Travis Gibson, good TFL there. That'll bring up third and 14. Then we'll get to that super chat here. Shout out Lance Briggs, former Bears great, tweeting, soon this will all be over. I think Lance is all of us right now. Here's the super chat before third and 14. Thanks for making Bears games fun to watch for more. We just got a $50 super chat. Get the beer funnel out, someone. Thanks for making Bears games fun to watch. Uh, Amos, you bet. Cheers. We just got a 50 piece. <laughs> the Duke. The Duke, you're the super chatter of the season, the Duke. I hope you know that. You've been loyal to us here at Bears now. It doesn't go unnoticed. Third and 14, draw play, Cousins. About a four-yard pickup. And they'll have to punt. So... So Jeremy going to help... We have a beer we can use. Oh, <laughs> is it cold or? Ah, that's perfect. All right, so uh, Lion's going to punt. Let's go here. Let's show the super chat first. Jeremy, hop off for a second. <laughs> you're, uh, you're jumping the gun here. Subscribe if you haven't. Get the beer bong going. This is a perfect ending. What a zen moment. Monty watching a crop, uh, crap QB run a crap play called by his crap coach. God bless us all. That's well said. There's no doubt about that. Let me see if. All right, here's the punt, and then after the punt, we're going to do this. Daz Newsome, fair catch at the 15, and it is caught. All right, I got my guy Jeremy up here ready to help us out. We'll go full screen here. He's pouring the beer, and then we'll uh, do a beer bong. Another super chat that we'll get to after this uh, chug. Hey, we're only 50 away from another bonus shot, which, by the way, I owe you all a shot too because we crossed 200, so there you go. Jeremy's trying to limit the foam, but uh, look, like like fan, like Bears fans all season, I got to struggle as well. Okay, you guys ready? Chant chug in the chat. Here we go. A little foamy there at the end. Two-yard completion on first down for the Bears. Cole Komet. I owe you guys a shot as well. We also have another super chat we're going to get to. Bears going no huddle. What? 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 Uh, I don't think so. I might bring that out on Monday, though, when they fire him. Dalton. Hit as he throws again. Is that a live ball? Incomplete. Third date coming up. Here's another super chat. Javen Terry, Nagy said, I'm getting fired anyway. Might as well do what I want. Look, I don't blame him for that, but the collapse is just epic. I mean, <laughs> you, you, I'd say you can't make it up, but you kind of can because um, we've seen it all before. I do feel for Andy Dalton who, you know, came here, thought he was going to start, gets hurt. And this game today is kind of a perfect microcosm of the whole season. Third and eight at the 17. If Nagy punts on fourth and eight here, he's the biggest fraud of all time. He won't have to. Caught. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, wait, no, it was caught. 
Yeah, let's get Jimmy Graham one more catch as a bear. Gain a 10, first down. This is why he's sub. We keep it entertaining. We keep it real. Your boy's buzzing here. It's all good. Hit that subscribe button. Our, Coop asked me, are we still typing ones? Why not? Let's finish this out. Dalton, pump fake, sacked again. <laughs> That's what, sack number six? Good job building this offensive line, Ryan Pace. Oh, my goodness. Pace, you got to go, man. Second and long, Dalton throws left side. Jimmy Graham again, got to establish him with 2.12 remaining. And uh, that will likely take us to the two-minute warning. We'll see if they take another snap. They, they won't. Two-minute warning time. So uh, let's do some thanks, Nagy. Why not, right? And then we'll do this, Coop. Thanks, Nagy, and then this. Um, you know, farewell, Matt. I wish you well. I don't think you deserve to hear th fire Nagy chants at your son's football game, but uh, you got to go. That's just the way this goes. And uh, let's type thanks Nagy. 2018 was fun. Ever since then, it sucked. So uh, that's where we're at. Type thanks Nagy in the chat. I'm going to catch you guys up on some scores real quick, just the ones that matter in the playoff picture. Uh, the Jags are going to beat the Colts. It's 26-3 to with eight minutes left. So now the Colts – I don't know if they're eliminated, but they need help to get in now, which what a disaster. They're going to lose their final two to miss the playoffs but probably. Ravens 10, Steelers 6, but I'm being told the Steelers just scored. So, yeah, they did. So 13-10 Pittsburgh. Uh, Titans did score to make it a 10-point game, but Houston is driving with four and a half left. If Tennessee beats Houston, they're the number one seed in the AFC. If Houston wins – or if they tie, uh, the Chiefs would get the number one seed in the AFC. We have some thanks, Naggies, in the uh, in the chat. I see thanks, Pace. Um, thanks, Ted. Ted Phillips. Those <laughs> Someone goes, those Dalton pump fakes never fool anyone. Uh, we just got a $10 super chat, so we'll get to that one. But first, uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to have you guys covered over there as well. Throughout the offseason, Chicago Bears news updates. Follow for follow game. We're following you guys back as well. So give me a follow uh, here on Instagram. It's at HGramNFL. I'll get the link in the live chat. It's at HGramNFL. I'm following the next 20 people back. So go ahead and give me a follow on IG right now. Michael, you're getting a follow. Next 20 followers. Getting a follow back at H Graham NFL. It's at H Graham NFL. Give me a follow. Let's we'll ride on IG. Uh, Ten dollars super chat from Joseph, which means I'm taking another shot, and we're only forty away from a bonus shot. I'm not saying Trubisky's top tier, but I definitely think he suffered from the offensive black hole of the Nagy era. Thoughts? Also, bring Fangio back as DC. Um, I think Trubisky is a fringe starting quarterback in this league. I think in a perfect system, he could have some success. I think uh, he's got limitations in terms of reading the field, pre-snap, identifying. Uh, he's got some talent, though, but I don't think he was ever going to be elite. Did he suffer from the Nagy offense? Potentially. But uh, overall, I don't think he's good enough. Both can be true. Nagy's not good, and Trubisky may not be that good. Time will tell on Trubisky. Dalton sacked again. Sack number seven. Cheers. Fourth and a mile, Matt Nagy punting here would be an even better ending to this era. Eric, uh, I tell you what, unfollow me, refollow me, and I'll follow you. I'll break the rules just for you. That's all you got to do. Following everybody right now. Jules, Zach, Cyrus. Fourth and 19, Matt Nagy, YOLO, Dalton. He's going to check it down to Daz Newsom. Makes a man miss. Makes another miss. But he's six yards short of the sticks. And uh, that's going to be it, folks. 
That's going to be it. Got another super chat. Let's keep this puppy humming. Eric says, uh, what about the OG? Like I said, uh, I just told you what to do, Eric. Uh, unfollow, refollow. I'll, I'll give you guys a follow. I'm following everybody till the game ends. How about that? At HGram NFL. I'll follow everybody that follows me between now and the end of the game. Just followed you, Eric. I got you covered, man. Got you covered. Uh, two more Super Chats just came in. Shaq, uh, we've thought about it. We really have. It's possible that could be coming in the future. We'll get to those two Super Chats in a moment. 28 away from 300. Might as well get to three bills. Dalvin Cook gets a handoff. Picks up about eight. That's actually Alexander Madison. Nagy's not going to use his timeouts. He's going to accept his fate here. As this is going to be it. This is the final 45 seconds of the Matt Nagy era. As the clock winds out, this is it. This is it. Kirk Cousins going to take a knee. Let's get to these super chats here. Clock's going to run out on the Matt Nagy era. Both these team seasons will end. Chicago finishes 6-11. and 11, Minnesota 7-10. and 10. Coop will get that final scoreboard ready as well. All right, Shaq, uh, we'll run through these super chats. Uh, make a Bulls page. They're booming right now. We're th we've thought about it. It's been discussed. Stay tuned. It's very much a possibility. Uh, I got a drink for that. Bear forever. Get gone, Nagy. This offense is infuriating. Uh, Robert Diaz, I got to verbalize this one. Nagy couldn't get lucky in a house of ill re uh, repute with the first of a, with a fist of 100s. Nagy is just that inept. He was brought here to fix the offense. It never happened, man. It never happened. What's up? What do you need? You can go custom if you need to, how we normally do it. You're good. Get the scoreboard left up and just overlay it with a, um... oh, we just got a $10 super chat. We got to get that one on screen. We're good. We can take some time here. We're fine. We'll keep this coming. I could even potentially, how about X out a scoreboard real quick. I can get it. I can get it going. Uh, get the ESPN scoreboard left and just put like, thanks Nagy up or something like that. Uh, get to that super chat momentarily as uh, time is wound out on the, uh, the Matt Nagy era. It's all over. It's all over. Got another super chat. Deadpool, that's another shot from yours truly saying thanks, Nagy. Hey, thanks, Matt. We'll always have 2018. Uh, okay, I'll X out of it. Let me. All right, you're in there. I'm out. Uh, Deadpool, appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys. Type thanks Nagy in the chat. Type thanks Nagy. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, the season's over, but the coverage is just beginning. I mean that uh, off-season coverage here is just as big, if not bigger, than the regular season. So subscribe, youtube.com slash bears now. A lot of major bears rumors circulating on the internet, so we're going to break those down in our post-game show. We'll have a brief uh, discussion about the game itself, but uh, in the end, uh, we're going to talk about the future more than anything. Uh, shout out to the Duke. Uh, appreciate the 10 bucks. My first super of the off season. Can you announce it yet? Please go live when it happens. We can't announce Nagy firing yet until it's officially official. Uh, but we will talk some rumors in this post game show. The Duke, I appreciate it. We're not going to flash it on screen. Uh, but, uh, you've been loyal all year. I appreciate it. Coop's got a lot going on building some graphics. All right. Final score here. Vikings 31, Bears 17. Uh, Andy Dalton throws for 325, but two late picks kind of, um, do him in there. David Montgomery, 72 yards. Darnell Mooney finishes on a high note, 1,000-yard season, 126 yards on 12 catches. Kirk Cousins, 250, three touchdowns. Uh, Dalvin Cook, 79 yards. And then Justin Jefferson with a big game, five catches, 107 yards, and a touchdown. So those are your final numbers. Uh, 
Should we take like a quick like two minute little break? Two minute break, three minute break. We'll be back. Uh, a little post game uh, rumor show, and then uh, uh, we'll sign off on the season. Uh, but more videos to come here on Bears Now.
Well, one more post-game show for you guys. Welcome into Chicago Bears Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Harrison Graham, as the Bears in wild fashion lose 31-17 to to wrap up their 2021 season. They led 14 to nothing, including 14-3 to at halftime, and then it unraveled in the second half. Honestly, a very perfect ending to the Matt Nagy era as he is expected to get fired. Minnesota wins it 31-17, to some numbers here. Uh, Andy Dalton, 33 of 48, 325 yards and a touchdown, but two fourth quarter interceptions really put him in. Also, the Bears got stopped four times on fourth, uh, fourth down. David Montgomery, 20 carries, 72 yards. Darnell Mooney ends on a positive note, though. 12 catches, 126 yards. No touchdowns, but over 1,000 yards in his second year. That's really solid. Kirk Cousins tossed three touchdowns, 250 yards. Uh, also, Dalvin Cook, 79 yards rushing. And then Justin Jefferson, 107 yards and one touchdown on the game. As Minnesota improves to 8-9, and nine, and uh, the Chicago Bears fall to 6-11 and 11 to wrap up their season. And uh, honestly, it has thankfully come to an end. Grade it for us. Grade the entire season for the Bears. 6-11, A, B, C, D, or F. Get your grades in. Let us know down in the comment section. My grade for the Bears, I'll go D. I won't go flat out F. It's not like this was the worst team in the league. The players kept playing hard for Matt Nagy. I will give him that, but just a disappointing year. Uh, the, uh, the offense never really materialized. Uh, some disappointments, some injuries certainly involved as well. But at the end of the day, not good enough. It can't be higher than a C- minus because it was a failure of a season. And if it's a failure, it has to be a D or an F. We all went to school. If you don't get at least a C, you don't pass. So I give the Bears a D on the season. They lose 31-17 here in Week 18. All right, subscribe to the channel because the offseason, it starts right now. Subscribe this second. Hit that big red button, news, rumors. I expect Matt Nagy to be fired on Monday. The rest of this video is not even going to be about today's game. It's going to be about the red hot rumors that are circulating around Nagy, pay some other stuff as well. So subscribe. Don't miss any of it. The plan is to go live as soon as Matt Nagy is fired, which will likely be on Monday. So stay tuned for that. The offseason is here for the Chicago Bears. Join the family here at Chicago Bears now. All right, so there's your quick recap of the game. There's your subscribe. Please help us out. Let's help grow the channel. Major Chicago Bears rumors. That's what we're talking about for the rest of this game. So let's talk about the head coach as we uh, fully expect Matt Nagy to be fired. As we film it this literal second, it's not officially official, but Ian Rappaport, Jay Glazer, and others are saying he will not return next season. Nagy said all along he has not been told anything about his job status. Uh, the plan uh, is, uh, as always, to meet with uh, the McCaskies, potentially Ryan Pace on Monday. We'll talk about Pace in a minute, about his status, the season review, all of that good stuff. Firing, I think, could happen maybe tonight. Probably on Monday is when we will officially find out. But one thing we know for sure, he is going to be fired. That has been clear for weeks. It's just a matter of whether it's tonight or tomorrow. The end, it's not near, it's here. The end is here, folks. The Matt Nagy era will come to an end and has come to an end. It's just a matter of whether it's January 9th, 2022 or January 10th, 2022. That's really all that's up for debate at this point in time uh, as a, a disappointing 2021 season has led to his demise. And at the end of the day, this is why he's not back. This is why, because he peaked in year one. You peak in year one, you regress after that. That's just, that's just not going to get it done, man. 12 and four. Awesome. Eight and eight decline. Eight and eight lost uh, in the first round of the playoffs. Six and 11 this year. You know, 34 and 31 overall doesn't look bad, but when you were eight games above 500 in year one, it kind of tells the story, right? The regression happened after that 2018 season. And look, the Cody Parkey double doink will always be one of those what if moments in the history of the Chicago Bears. But at the end of the day, after that moment, it's like time stopped. It never got better. It got worse. Uh, and that's, uh, that's why he's going to be fired by this franchise. So the reports are out there. Nothing is finalized. Nothing is officially official, but he will not return. I, I can say that with as close to 100% certainty as I possibly can. Matt Nagy will not be the head coach of the Chicago Bears uh, after tomorrow. Who should be the next Bears head coach? Because with Nagy out, a critical decision is coming. You've got to figure out who is going to lead 
this franchise in terms of the coaching staff? Let us know. Predict it for us down in the comments section. And whoever that coach is, you better get the best out of Justin Fields. Support Justin Fields, who unfortunately couldn't play in the season finale. You can get his jersey for only $90. Excuse me. Oh, my God. At chatsports.com slash Fields Jersey. I just burped on the Matt Nagy era because it's that disgusting. Chatsports.com slash Fields Jersey. That link will be in the comments. It'll be in the description. Pick up a brand new Bears jersey today. And, hey, you know, you got Justin Fields, baby. There's a, there is a foundation to work with with this team for whoever the head coach is. So let's go from the head coach to the general manager. Ryan Pace, future is in doubt. Maybe, maybe not. Rumors around Pace all over the place over the last 72 hours. I've heard everything that he could be promoted to president of football operations, to he could stay as GM, or to he could be fired. I think all three are a realistic possibility. Now, hopefully the Bears have already made this decision, but if they haven't, you got about 20 hours to do so. You have tonight and early in the morning to finalize this situation. You can't wait until mid-late next week uh, to uh, fire Ryan Pace. You got to make a decision. Uh, if, if the decision is to keep him, I don't necessarily agree with it, but at least it's a firm decision. Uh, if the decision is to fire him, good. Let's, let's, let's get a new regime in here. Let's get a GM and then go get a head coach because you can't hire a coach, at least in my opinion, and I think most teams' opinions as well, without a general manager. It just can't be done. It doesn't make sense. Operating like that would be foolish. Uh, so if Pace is gone, great. Get a GM that can start a coaching search. If Pace is here to stay, whether it's promoting to president of football ops or as GM, fine. I don't care. But you've got to make a decision in the next 24 hours about Ryan Pace's future. I think it's 50-50 on whether he remains in the organization or he goes, uh, but uh, we will see what happens. Are the Bears going to fire Ryan Pace? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Get your votes in down in the comment section. We'll see, man. We will see. Uh, I'll tell you this. This is why you should subscribe because, again, we're going to have you guys cover from here on out. But also, we already did a Ryan Pace replacements video in case he does get fired or promoted, I guess, because you would still need a GM. Some new candidates have emerged. Go check that out, youtube.com slash bears now. Hit that big red button. Go to the videos tab, and you can find this video and several others as well. All right, one more story to go here on, uh, I guess, today's post-game show. We're really just talking about the hot rumors right now. How about bring back Vic Fangio? Uh, I think so. I think that should be the move. Uh, Broncos fired Fangio earlier on Sunday. And let me be clear, as defensive coordinator, bring him back. Not as head coach because he's not. he did not prove to be a great head coach in Denver. Certainly wasn't his fault completely. They couldn't get the quarterback figured out, but three losing seasons there. Uh, but we know he's an excellent defensive coordinator. Spent 2015 through 18 as the Bears DC, that 18 defense, one of the best in franchise history, arguably the best in franchise history outside of the 85 team, definitely up there. Uh, we know how good of a defensive mind he is. He's my number one defensive coordinator candidate. Uh, depending on who the head coach is, of course, will increase or decrease the odds of getting Vic Fangio in Chicago. There's been a lot of chatter. Hire Jim Harbaugh as head coach, and he already has a relationship with Fangio. He can be the D.C. I would love that. Harbaugh and Fangio 2022, who says no? I think that would be absolutely fantastic. And if you bring back Fangio, for those of you who like Sean Desai, I think he could potentially stay as like a safeties coach, secondary coach. Him and Vic Fangio have a good relationship. They have uh, similar ideologies. He's a uh, Fangio disciple. It's possible Desai could be the defensive coordinator next year as well. Uh, but uh, let me be clear, whoever the new head coach is, it has the right to make that decision. Uh, that is not that should not be like a George McCaskey being like, hey, we're hiring you as head coach, but you have to keep Sean decide. No, the new head coach needs to decide who the DC is. But I think if you bring in Fangio, then decide naturally, unless he gets a DC gig elsewhere, would be a candidate to remain on staff. Should the Bears bring back Vic Fangio's defensive coordinator? Type one for yes. Type two for no. He's my top candidate. He had a hell of a defense this year in Denver. They just couldn't figure out the offense. We know he can coach. I am all in on bringing back Vic Fangio. Follow me on Instagram because like here on the channel, I'll keep you guys up to date with everything around the Bears. It's going to be a hectic 24, 48, 72 hours, perhaps even longer uh, around this football team. So we'll have coverage on the channel. But here on IG as well, go give me a follow at HGramNFL. It's at HGramNFL on Instagram. Buckle up, folks, as some would say, because uh, – Things are about to get hectic around the Chicago Bears. 
All right, before we sign off, we hit, we hit $299.28. We're going to round that up, which means a bonus shot, $300 today. I just want to shout you guys out for joining us for our watch parties all year. It's been fun, even though the team struggled. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't do it without you guys. 39,000 subscribers was hit today. That was fantastic. Round of applause to you guys. Um, I really do appreciate the love and support on the channel, on social media, all that stuff as well. One more farewell shot. We'll, we'll pour one out for Matt Nagy as well. Coach, I wish you the best. I really do. I think he's a good guy. Just can't be this team's coach anymore. So cheers. Please subscribe because uh, you're going to want to stay, stay in the know on what's going on. Uh, YouTube.com slash Bears now. It's going to be a busy day, two, three days, like I mentioned. So hit that big red button. I'm going to sign off. Shout out to producer Jeffrey Cooperstein for producing this thing. Uh, his fine work was excellent as always. Um, we'll see you very soon. I can promise you that here on Chicago.